All right, here we go again with Jump King. So I did like this stream last week. Um, I think the game is very well made. Uh, very good rage game. Um, but it's not gonna get me, all right? I don't rage, all right? You can quote me on that, I don't rage. I will get to the smoking hot babe at the top. Even though I'm all the way at the bottom, but it's fine. You see, we have to start fresh. Do I ever remember, like... Okay, I remember some things, I guess. Oh god, I gotta like re-remember the platforms. I'm kinda getting it right now, hold on. Never mind. This game is pretty fun. I can see why this game is such a big speed game. Fudge. <laughs> Fudge, no, come on, man. This is that's what I'm saying though, like clearly I have, I've learned from the last time, like it's not like we're gonna be here forever, eventually we're gonna win. I mean look, within four minutes of the stream I'm already back to the sewer, so. Come on, man. Come on, man. Oh my god. Like, even though I know eventually I will be able to win this, that doesn't mean it's it doesn't hurt to fall.
Okay. Easy schmeasy. My God, I can't do this, man. Found some speed tech pause. It's all coming back to me. No, it's not. down on Pat. Come on, man! I gotta get it into my muscle memory. This is so sad. Frist. Weird. What's weird? You actually being frist? Fudge! You distracted me. This isn't fair. Ten minutes still able to be first. You see, Gamap is one of those people that, like, somebody texts him, and then, like, he sees it right away, but he has to wait, like, ten minutes before he actually responds, so that way he can seem cool. Yeah, welcome to the stream. It is I. Here yet again. 
just play League. That is a game I will never play. It's one of those things where it's like, I know I'll get way too addicted, and I'm not trying to get into that. Give me something to talk about, man. You know, I respect this game and all, but, like, there's not much to talk about about the gameplay. It's just make the jump. And that's the end of it. At least five streams. And you know what? Maybe you're right. Maybe I underestimated the game. We might have to make this an in-between Variety Wednesday game. But we'll see. Maybe I suddenly just turn cracked at the game. I mean, I already, like, I do zoom through these levels a lot better. I'm clearly getting way better, but there's still quite a bit more progress to make. Oh, come on. That sewer section is the worst. It's punishing? Oh, for sure. What else do you think that we should play for Variety Wednesdays? Stuff that was a little bit more engaging, probably. This is a really good podcast game, but I know Dolphin's doing a stream right now on Honkai Star Rail. Fodge. People have been suggesting. Oh, yeah, we have a lot of games. But, like, do you have another suggestion? It probably... I mean, I always go by the polls. So, like, no matter what, if a game is recommended and it wins the most out of a poll, then that's what we'll do. People have been suggesting games I've never heard of. I, I've heard of a lot of the games that they've been suggesting. I actually put in my own suggestion for Subnautica. That's my suggestion, but I'm not going to be able to play it unless it actually wins the poll. But that's a game I've been wanting to play for a while, and I've never seen anything about it. Well, I have seen, I've seen certain videos, but like I've never played it, and I don't know nearly as much as I could. It's still blind is what I'm saying. Fudge! <laughs> It can be grindy. That makes sense. But I feel like it... Oh my god. <sighs> I feel like it could also be rewarding in a way. Bro, I loved that Fire Emblem stream yesterday. <laughs> I did not think that I would get um, anybody actually interested in the game. Bro, that was awesome, man. I loved that crap. It made me realize how much I love freaking Fire Emblem. I ended up uh, continuing one of my old files on my uh, phone emulator. I've been playing that this whole morning. <laughs> I just want to play more Fire Emblem, man. It's too good. I like the Sam I like the Iron Man challenge that we're doing too. It's really fun. Interesting new way to play. Okay.
fall. <laughs> Are you open for new Pokemon game? What's that? If it's, do you mean like just for like a Monday or Thursday stream or for like a variety Wednesday game? Game you've never played. What I'll say for variety Wednesday specifically is that I would want it to be game, like I don't want to do like fan games. I would want to do like actual games and preferably a series that I've never even touched. Like I know Pokemon. So I would, yeah, I mean, give me the, give me the suggestion, but I probably wouldn't do it for variety Wednesday. If it's good enough, I might do it for like a random Monday or Thursday stream. Just because I want to keep uh, Pokemon basically out of Tuesdays and Wednesdays. My whole, like, point of Nostalgia Tuesdays and Variety Wednesdays was to stop playing Pokemon. You know, give me a reason to play a bunch of other games that I love. Well, Variety Wednesday is different, but Nostalgia Tuesdays is specifically to uh, play games from my childhood. Games that I have a lot of love for. What's up, dog? Welcome to the stream, Mainless. How you doing? No, no, hear me out. It has a whole story region it's not a hack well it's a fan game i mean no matter what i'm not doing it for variety wednesdays but i can't i'll play it for monday or thursday but i don't want to you know take up a variety wednesday slot for a freaking pokemon game like no i already stream pokemon like 50 percent of the time anyway What game were we talking about? I, Gamaf's trying to get me to play a Pokemon fan game for Variety Wednesday. Um, and I'm saying, no. I want to keep it to... Basically just non-Pokemon games. Or, honestly, Variety Wednesday specifically, it kind of needs to be a whole series I've never even touched. Not even just a single game. Because, like, I know Pokemon. No matter how the fan game is, I know Pokemon. It's always going to be the same thing. But yeah, I'll, I'll play any Pokemon game like for a Monday or Thursday stream for sure, if it's good enough. But yeah, lo lots of people are recommending games for Variety Wednesday. I, I don't want to, I don't even want to like put a Pokemon game in that poll because, you know, I know half my audience is, are Pokemon fans, so I don't want to skew the votes in that way, Fudge. Because it would likely win if I put it in there with all these games that everybody else, uh, you know. It's not a hack, so you won't know anything. Well, what is it? I've probably heard of it. It's a fan game. Is it, like, not the same Pokemon, like, um, format? And I've already said, for Nostalgia Tuesdays, I'm not going to casually play through any Pokemon game either, because I already... I don't really even have nostalgia for Pokemon games anymore, unless it's like a specific thing. Just because I play them so often for challenge runs, I don't feel nostalgia for them. Unless it's like a spin-off either, that could, that could make sense too. My fault still on vampire survivors. I think my current plan right now is that we'll see how far we can get on Jump King in this stream. And we're going to limit each Variety Wednesday game to two streams in a row. I feel like that's fair because I don't want people to get tired of Variety Wednesdays. Just me playing Jump King for five freaking streams straight. So I think I'll stick with each game for um, two streams. Or we'll do more if people like it, right? What I'll probably do is I'll put a poll to see if people want to see me finish Jump King before I move on. But, like, we'll put this game on the back burner. And then, you know, like, we'll still come back to this game to beat it. Um, but maybe, like, after every other Variety Wednesday game, we'll do a Jump King stream, right? Or, hell, I could just randomly play it on stream it doesn't even have to be for variety wednesdays at this point we've already gotten the idea of the game benefati rage game it's a genre i've never played you get almost all of them but they do have a dex I really don't even know what you're talking about. Like, what's the game? Just tell me what the freaking game is. 
I've probably heard of it. Don't laugh, all right. <laughs> okay, I already have. But it's built on Roblox? All right, I'm not interested. <laughs> That's all I've needed to hear. <laughs> Oh, fudge. You know what I would do is, um, for variety, I mean, for Nostalgia Tuesdays, I'd be, I'd be, I would not be inclined to count, like, Pixelmon and Minecraft as two separate games. Because I do have a lot of nostalgia for Pixelmon, but I also have a lot of nostalgia for classic Minecraft. But they, they're also, like, they're very different, right? Is it brick bronze? Yeah, Grease said that. I, of course Grease knew exactly what you were talking about. I've never played Roblox. I feel like if I'm going to do anything, I would just do base Roblox for Variety Wednesdays. Variety, I mean, uh, Roblox is a game after my time. I'm too much of a boomer to play Roblox. I tried it, uh, but I got bored and quit after the first gym. Damn. If Grease got bored, what makes you think my attention span is going to keep through it? <laughs> Real talk. think there's anything wrong with roblox it's just every single time i think about it i can only think of like cringe which is silly because i don't even think like i don't think the game is cringe i just think probably the community is a little cringe <laughs> it's like dragon ball it's a great story but the community is cringe try it out just turn off chat I'm not gonna, I'm probably not gonna do freaking. I'm, I'm sorry, I'm probably not gonna play Roblox or freaking Variety Wednesdays. Rascal Randy, welcome to the stream. This is Jump King. It is a rage game. Uh, this is Variety Wednesdays where we play only games recommended by my community. Games that I've never played before. This is my second time playing Jump King. And I have already degraded into madness. Fallout New Vegas. Fallout would be a good game to play. Um, I still gotta get my PS5. I'm still banking on, uh, on getting a digital PS5 because I literally do not need the disc drive. So saving $100 would be good for me. I assume it's on PS5, right? Probably Fallout 3, and 3, 4, and New Vegas are on PS5, right? I would put that in the poll. What do you hate most about Roblox? I'm, it's probably just the community. I mean, it, again, it's past my time. Like, it, um, It's just the people that grew up on Roblox is not me. <laughs> you know, I feel like Roblox, you have to grow up with it to enjoy it. Like, I was always a Minecraft guy. Here we go again. Ho! Oh! Easy. Wasn't even scared. All right. Progress, boys. Do I still remember how to do this? Oh, I still got it, bro. I think this is a, a full send. Yeah. Oh my God, I'm going crazy right now. I'm going crazy. Yo. <laughs> All right. The hardest jump in the freaking game. 
Just feel it. Yes! Come on, man. <laughs> Come on, man. <laughs> nah! <laughs> I was so close. Um, it's not on PS3, not on PS4. It's really not on PS5, like through like um, PSN or anything. That's kind of weird. What's the difference between Roblox and Minecraft? There's definitely a huge difference between Roblox and Minecraft. Um, I think Roblox is somehow a more community-based game, like a more multiplayer-focused game than Minecraft is, which is pretty crazy. Like, I feel like, I mean, this is coming from somebody who's never played Roblox, um, but I feel like you can't play Roblox without friends, but you, could, you can play Minecraft without friends. I know a lot of people say that they would never play Minecraft without friends, but like, I feel like Roblox, you just need to, I mean, you need to play online, right? That's, that's a whole thing. You literally need to play online with others. You are judging a book by its cover. Gamath loves Roblox. Hey, I mean, honestly, I would put it in Variety Wednesday's poll. It still has to win the poll, though, like, at the end of the day. It's all about, um, majority vote at the end of the day. And hell, I, I tried, I tried Halo, so I'll try anything, okay? Clearly, I'll try anything for Variety Wednesdays if I played a freaking FPS game. And really tried to enjoy it, by the way. It will change your life. Uh, play it on PC, free torrent. I don't really care for torrenting games anymore. Honestly, I used to when I was a lot younger, but like, honestly, it feels more like an inconvenience to torrent games than anything. Like, I'd rather just buy them. Like, I know that I have the $10 limit on the Variety Wednesday games. So like, usually I have to wait until a game goes on sale or something, but like, I don't know, man. Quarantine game is just like kind of a hassle to me now. You won't see anyone in the game. What else? Uh, community problem solved. What's stopping you? You can't pl play Fallout New Vegas on PS4 or PS5 console. That's pretty lame, honestly. This game stinks. <laughs> well, it was voted for. It's a, it's like a, it's a Twitch, this game's really popular on Twitch, it's, it's a rage game. It's like, you make all your progress and then you fall all the way the frick down. It is well made, um, it's just, it definitely gets old, is the best way I can describe it. Like, this game makes a really good podcast game. Like, last week's stream for this was actually a really good stream, because, um, because we just had a lot of good debate topics, right? Um, so feel free to give me uh, interesting stuff to talk about, chat. All right, can we do it again? Yes! No! <laughs> God damn it! Ugh, I cannot fall there, bro. It's a story game, don't worry. I tell you, it's a Pokemon game, literally, just... Well, yeah, but I don't want to play Pokemon for Variety Wednesdays. Even, like, I wouldn't even play, like... I don't want to play... I... I mean, I guess... No matter what, it's gonna have Pokemon knowledge in it. Variety Wednesday, I'm supposed to be completely blind to the game, alright? 
Whether I've played Roblox or not, I don't want to play a Pokemon game for Variety Wednesdays. Period. I'd rather play base Roblox, if anything. Because at least then I'm, I'm going into a, to a completely blind experience. That's the point of this series. I'm not playing no games. I play games I've never touched before. And genres I've never touched before, even. Well, that'll never actually be the case. I mean, hell, even The Wolf Among Us was... Um, a, like a genre I've played many times, but still. Like, it has to be, like... It just has to be blind. That's all. Access the game. I just saved Louie in Pikmin 4. Dude, nice. I loved Pikmin 4. I streamed the hell out of that game. And <laughs> most of my community hated it. <laughs> but I didn't care. <laughs> that game is fire. <laughs> It was taken down so many times, close to 100%. Thought it was an RPG, the best RPG. Uh, it deserved more than just Wednesday. Find them, buy it. Well, yeah, but you said it's not on PS5, right? That's so weird. Isn't it supposed to be a PlayStation game? Am I tripping to say that? Or is it always been a P uh, PC game? And then I have the struggle of... Uh, because the thing is, is that my laptop is a good laptop. Like, it's a like, really strong gaming laptop. But streaming a higher quality game, like a 3D higher quality game, is a whole different story. Um, how far did you go in Pikmin 4? I beat it. I 100%ed the game even. I did everything in that game. Did every mission, unlocked every type of Pikmin, did all the missions, platinum medaled. I love that freaking game, bro. TBH, maybe I should play the Pikmin games for Nostalgia Tuesdays. The problem is, though, I've never technically played Pikmin 1. I've played Pikmin 2, 3, and 4. Well, obviously 4 wouldn't be nostalgic, but I could argue that 3 is kind of nostalgic, you know? Wii U era is kind of nostalgic for me, in a way. You don't have to play it on Wednesday. I Okay. If it's not for a Variety Wednesday stream, I'm gonna be honest, I'm not interested. If it's Roblox. <laughs> okay, I guess send it to me and I'll look at it. To be honest, you know what was more interesting to me? Poke Abby opening the stream. What was more interesting to me was Poke Abby's stat lock idea than playing Pokemon in Roblox, to be honest. Okay. Okay! Oh my god. Is this new? I don't think I've ever gotten here. I think there's a new PB. Okay, this has got to be a full send. Ah! Oh my god, this is a new PB. Out of nowhere. We're actually making progress? What? Okay. I think this is a full send. Okay. Oh my god, I'm so scared. What the frick is that? No! Okay, 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 this is fine, this is fine, this is fine. Okay, this is fine, this is fine, this is fine. I'm not worried, I'm not worried. This is fine. Huh? Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Okay, okay. Yeah. <sighs> <sighs> <laughs> I liked watching Pikmin. Uh, it was a nice chill game to watch. It is. It's very chill. Actually, yeah, Pokeabby did enjoy those streams. I remember now. Very chill and fun game. You know what, though? If I ever played Pikmin 2 for Nostalgia Tuesdays, bro, that game is hard. Pikmin 2 is legitimately a really hard game. And, like, you have, you'll, like, instantly lose 100 Pikmin out of nowhere from, like, one thing. Just instantly. The Pikmin games definitely got easier as time went on. The Abbey. Uh, buy it on Steam. Streaming and... Streaming uh, and playing the same game on my computer is a lot harder. If I can play the game on console and use my capture card, then I'll never experience any lag or any glitches. And that's what I would prefer to wait for. Oh my god. Ah! Uh! Just go for it. 
New area, bro. Bargainburg. Wow, we made uh we actually made progress within 40 minutes. That's pretty that's pretty impressive. Hold on. Made for PC, imported to consoles. It's old. My oldest laptop ran it fine. Yeah, but you have to understand, streaming it is the issue. I couldn't even handle the HD uh, upscale of Halo streaming it. I had to, I literally basically had to use the old graphics. Now, granted, I actually liked the old graphics for Halo, like better than the new ones, but that's besides the point. Like whenever I switched the HD, it was terrible. Yeah, Pikmin's fire ass series. Uh, eighty-five percent on the last world, one hundred and all the others. Pikmin's just really fun to complete, honestly. It's one of the most fun games to one hundred percent. And before Pikmin Kaizo, I'd love to do like a Pikmin challenge run, but the the problem with Pikmin is that it doesn't make for uh, like a lot of people just don't care about watching Pikmin. It's a shame. It deserves to be more popular than it is. Ever heard of Brick Bronze? I have not. Damn, get roasted. Played Roblox when I was like 12 and I haven't touched it since. Um, yeah, I w I've never touched Roblox. I've never even played it once, actually. Second I found out about Minecraft Alpha, I never touched Roblox again. Is Roblox older than Minecraft? Am I dumb? I actually thought Roblox was way newer than Minecraft. I guess I just never played it. Isn't the community like super scummy? That's what I said! And they expose done on them, and they exploit children, and probably illegal currency system too. You could try it off cam, I guess. Olimar's Star was a really fun challenge, similar to the old games. Yeah, I loved Olimar's challenge. It was really fun. I almost wish it was a little bit harder, but uh, I, I feel like it was hard enough. I'm just good at I'm just good at Pikmin, so I, I'm definitely being a little bit too. Uh, too hard on the game for saying that it's not hard enough because it definitely had a good amount of challenge to it. For only one measly gold, they're yours. What? What do you say, eh? But I don't have gold. Wait, so what does this do? Is this a checkpoint? Huh? <laughs> what does this do? Anybody in chat know? Quite new for many years. Randy, I gotta go back home and get my freaking Wii U. I need the Wii U so I can play more Nostalgia Tuesdays games. <laughs> I have so many Wii games that I grew up with that I can't play. <laughs> I need a way to stream them. <laughs> Like, Galaxy 2, it makes me so mad that they didn't freaking put Galaxy 2 on the, uh, on the HD collection. I have it all together, I think. Nice. Have it ready for me, please. I need it. <laughs> okay. Um... Here is more capable of playing Fallout. It's old. Get on. I know that it's capable of playing it. Streaming it is another is another story, though. I can play almost any game. Hell, I was able to run Assassin's Creed Origins, but then the moment I tried streaming it, it all went to crap. And that game's pretty new. The game came out in like 2018, something like that, for like new gen consoles. Uh, Roblox is older than Minecraft. It was just quite, yeah, that's crazy. Um, do gifted games get prioritized? Yes. But like, I don't know. They'll get prioritized in a way of, they'll be put on the poll no matter what. Because I'm only going to put games that I think 
I think it depends. But they do, they get priority. They do get priority. To answer your question, yes. If, if you buy a game for me, it's going to gain priority. But that doesn't mean I'll instantly play it for the next Wednesday. I'll emphasize it a lot in the poll. And no matter what, it'll be put in all polls until it gets voted for. Which is a good thing. Because there's a lot of games that I can't even put in the poll. Because there's just too many games recommended right now. But yes, I am susceptible to bribes. I've always been susceptible to bribes. Remember when y'all almost killed my TikTok lock run? Specifically because of bribes? You can stream it, it's old. Bro, you don't understand. I need to stream in 60 FPS. I need to have high quality. Should be easy to stream if you can run. Okay, I can run it at bad quality. The moment I try streaming it, it almost crashes. <laughs> streaming any game instantly. Like, I can't even stream 3DS games. Y'all saw that yesterday, right? I'm trying to do freaking a 3DS game, and it's lagging. Bro, if I can't stream a 3DS game, what the frick? You can, do you really think I can stream a... Uh, a P it's a PS3 level game, right? No way. I'd be lucky to do PS2 at that point. No way. I'll just give you New Vegas then. I mean, that would definitely make me put it in the poll for sure. True. Had to nerf the bribes because of TikTok lock. <laughs> I'll never nerf bribes. Listen. Bribes are always going to be powerful. Fallout New Vegas was a... 360 game, so it should be easy for a low end PC to stream, I think. I couldn't even do 3DS, though. To be fair, that might also be an emulation issue. Like, emulators do have, like, you know, their own quirks. 3DS emulators are notorious laggy, so I wouldn't use that as a comparison. I, I suppose that's fair. I'm scared about this. I did it first try. Wasn't even scared. Can I make that? I sure hope so. Okay. Oh, this sucks. Huh! <laughs> town Hall Board of Notice. This abandoned town, which is clearly abandoned and which no one lives in, is henceforth irrevocably, eternally, foreverably, uncancelably, and undeniably claimed by right of previous owner's blatant abandonment as the sole property of merchant McGildas Dreeg. In addition, I, McGildas Dreeg, shall rename this new shining center of commerce. It shall hereby be known as Bargainburg. Should any legal inquiries or complaints arise, contact unintelligible. Thank you for your cooperation, Pog. Okay. Okay, okay, I think I see it. I have to go off the wall. Oh! What do I do? Do I really just have to, like, do this? Ah! Can I make that? More importantly, do I have to go into that house? No way. I'd rather, I'd rather try for this. Ah! Okay. Oh no. This is one of the hardest jumps in the game. I've seen this jump on clips for Twitch. That jump up there, not this specific jump, but the one you have to literally jump inside of that roof. Oh, no way, man. No way, man. I'm doing pretty damn good for my... I haven't even fallen once in this, uh, in this area. I, I'm jinxing it right now, though. This is not a full send. I know that. First try! Let's go! <laughs> okay. Okay, 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 okay. right now he 
he's getting cracked before our very eyes. Yes, sir. Oh my god. What is that? I see a little area. Oh! What is this? You shall never make it to the babe of legend. Even if you succeeded, she would refuse you. You are doomed to fail. I read it in your soul. Oh my god. For you are an insignificant, small, and ugly creature. Says you, beach ass. So what is this? <laughs> Yo, alternate paths in Jump King? I'm worried that like, there's gonna be a fall here that sends me to the very beginning of the game. <laughs> this area is pretty safe though. I can't, I can't like fall down here. Bright brown woods. Bro, I'm in an all new area all of a sudden? In New Babe Plus map of Jump King. Oh, uh, okay, 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 let's go back, let's go back, let's go back. I kind of figured it was something like that. Thank you, Poke Abby. I'm glad you said that. That's pretty cool, though, that you could access the area in main game. That's pretty sick. Secret, have you decided on the next Pokemon project? Damn, good match, ready for the next Pokemon project. Uh, I still have to finish Radical Red, which I might do. I'm enjoying my Eden streak right now, though, in Isaac. I'm gonna do it eventually, but um, I'm not sure. We could try it. Hell, I, I mean, I've never, I haven't planned anything. We could even just try Poke Abby's stat lock idea. I wouldn't be against it. Um, I don't think I'm gonna go back to Dreano Hardcore Nuzlocking just because it takes too much prep. Um,. And I don't think people are interested in it. We talked about on Monday and had a vague idea of how it would work. Oh, oh, I thought Gamaf was talking about like the next Pokemon game we stream, period. I mean, the the next TikTok lock, the later manner, whatever the frick, the later manner lock, uh, that's not gonna, oh God, I'm throwing. Look, I was cracked until I entered that DLC area. Now I'm back to cringe. Wait, how do I do this? What? Wait, how do I actually do this? This is a weird jump. Wait, I'm so confused. How did I get up there before? I see. Wait, no, I still don't see. Oh, wait, 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 I think I get it. Okay, I get it. But yeah, um, I'm down to talk more about the uh, the later manor lock as well. Or, you know, if y'all have any interesting ideas for another 
uh, Pokemon stream that's not like a big event, then yeah, I'm, I'm all ears. I'll try the stat lock thing just as a chill idea. Hell, maybe even in a base Pokemon game or a Drano game or something. Break Crown was the first area. New, new Babe Plus map of Jump King. No, no. It's not the main pass, I guess. Keep going. Doesn't look that big, actually, glancing at it. You were supposed to be here if you can get that, if you can get here. Just go back over me. I don't know this game. I don't know, too, but if the game let you in, then you should be in there. No, I disagree. I, I can tell that that's going to be a whole new thing. We'll do that for, like, eventually we'll do it, but that's the DLC. We're not doing that right now. We're trying to beat the main game. Getting down is easier than upright. So just keep going in the snow area. I disagree. He's lost his cracked mojo. When you see everything, then you just go down here. But yeah, I know. That, because that beginning snow area, that snow area is going to eventually become like this. Just worse, probably. Because it's DLC, so it's only going to get harder. Meanwhile, here, we're very far. Oh, so do I just, like... Oh god. Oh, I hate this. Can I even make that? <laughs> Do I have to really go over there? I don't like it. Ah! Big boy. Okay. No! Do it. Welcome to the stream, Shock. How you doing? We are making crazy progress right now. This is Variety Wednesdays where I play only games that I've never touched before in my entire life. Feel free to recommend games you want to see me play in the Discord channel for Variety Wednesdays. Shock is the absolute most goaded Fire Emblem player of all time. Literally carried my Iron Man run yesterday. Well, I wouldn't say carried. He gave me really good advice, though. All right. Um... Okay, <laughs> as long as I'm not falling all the way down. This one's a hard one. How do I, um... Can I, like... Okay. Oh my god. I've gone so far without falling super far. But the moment I do, it's going to be all over, bro. It was working. Now I'm tired. It be like that, man. I feel you. I feel you. Uh, I learned some cursed knowledge the other day. Pantyhose or tights for UK folk. Apparently are, class are classed as pants. Trousers, yeah. I like the word trousers. I get it, but it feels wrong. Those are so hot. Agreed. By design. You get cold legs otherwise. Now, if the person wearing them is in my room, then they won't be cold. What the fudge? <laughs> Come after be weird real talk. No, I have to do this jump again. Alright, I just gotta first try it again. It's fine. I did not first try it this time. It's 
fine, it's fine, it's fine. Just chill. Fine. Can I full send this actually? Shoot! I just found a shortcut. Fire? New shortcut? No! <laughs> Bro, we're getting so much better. There's no way. We got back here first try, bro. Five streams, both getting horny over glorified socks. <laughs> Listen, man, Americans are just built differently, all right? The math is, I just agreed that they are hot. Hey, why are you assuming things, Abby? My bad, my bad. First, I said they are hot because they are socks. For real, they just warm you up. You know, they're not gonna be cold when you know when they're wearing the pantyhose, of course. Okay. Oh my god, that jump! I cannot believe I did that jump first try. No, no, no. Okay, this is fine, this is fine. Huh! This is fine. going on give me some stuff to debate about chat come on now of course of course <laughs> I don't know what you were talking about of course no other implications they're just uh that it would be warm inside, of course, of course. Is this court having issues, or is it me? Okay. What issue? It's having issues for me, too. What issue? I can't start it. It says gray. Text channels aren't loading. Oh, wait. Is Discord having an issue? Oh, yeah. It is for me, too. Wow. I guess Discord's having an issue. What, were you going to recommend a game for uh, Variety Wednesdays? What game were you uh, thinking of, Shock? I'll let you know if, I, if I've played it or not. Debate about why leggings are actually just better pantyhose. Leggings are better pantyhose. Hell, I would wear leggings. I don't give a damn. Keep myself warm. Underneath the pants. There's something wrong. Hey, leggings are great too, but like... They're not the same. I already did, but they're so comfy. I wrote Seasons After Fall. Oh. Oh, you did recommend that one. That's right. I remember now. Yeah, wasn't that the platforming one? Yeah, I love a uh, good old 2D platformer, so I'm always down to learn uh, to play more. And it's actually a game I've never heard of, so it qualifies. Oh! I am impressed with myself that I'm actually, like, making as much progress as I am, though. Uh, 
But yeah, uh, Gamaf, if you want to see me do a Pokemon project for like a Monday or Thursday stream, then uh, give me some ideas. Or if you like the Poke Abbey stat lock idea, then give me a good game to play uh, through it with or some other ideas with it. I'm dumb. This is fine. Why did I do that? Like, what was the purpose? I got that part down pat, bro. I have not messed up those jumps ever. I think it probably got overshadowed by like big releases of 2016 like undertale oh yeah no yeah no doubt undertale really destroyed the indie game seeing yeah what do y'all think is the biggest indie game of all time it might actually be undertale to be fair i mean unless don't count minecraft all right minecraft don't count minecraft that's all i'm gonna say don't count minecraft look abby instantly said minecraft because Minecraft is no longer an indie game. It is true. It is true, though. It is It is the most popular indie game. It is true. Look, okay, fine. Let me rephrase the question. Besides Minecraft, what is the biggest indie game? Sosa says that it exceeded the status of indie game. All right, all right. I restated the question. Besides Minecraft, what is the biggest indie game? Because currently, Minecraft is no longer an indie game. That's what I was saying. Fudge. I'll, I'll hold to it that Isaac's definitely the most popular roguelike. Is there a more popular indie roguelike than Isaac? Isaac's pretty big. Hades got pretty big too, but it's definitely not bigger than Isaac. Hollow Knight is also super successful. That's true. Is Hollow Knight more successful than Isaac? It might be. Hollow Knight was so big. Hollow Knight and Cuphead were so big that they actually like became like mainstream discussion. Like I remember in high school, I would have people like talking to me about it. Like, oh, you got to play Cuphead or Hollow Knight. And I'd be like, damn. Like usually when you're in like high school or whatever, like normies don't talk about indie games in general. Fudge! I cannot believe I did that jump first try, bro. What is happening? I don't think Dead Cells was that big. No, Dead Cells definitely is not as big as Isaac. Not even close. I'd say the second most popular is Hades, honestly. Hades almost won game of the year for Pete's sake. Um... If we're talking about specifically roguelikes, I think Hades is second. Definitely. Uh, Non-meme debate topics, not gonna lie. Fair enough. Leggings are great on their own, and Panteos go nicely with a scud or some. Pokemon Infinite Fusion. We actually did a whole hardcore Nuzlocke of Infinite Fusion Shock. Um, with, I think, a really interesting rule set. Oh! It was really good. It took us about, I want to say, seven attempts to beat it, actually. Come on, man. Come on, man. Come on, man! No! Here we go again. But yeah, I really liked our uh, lock for Infinite Fusion. I think Infinite Fusion was one of the greatest stream 
Nuzlocke's I've ever done. It was just such a good community game, like having everybody help out to create fusions. I think, if I remember correctly, our rule was that once we fuse something, we're not allowed to unfuse it. We could reverse fusions, but we could never unfuse a fused mon. And we could only catch unfused mons and then fuse them together. And it was, you know, it was still a Nuzlocke, so only first encounter and all that. I really liked our rule set. I think it was really fun. It really encouraged us all to work together to find the greatest fusions to fuse. And it made our encounters really limited because, you know, you only wanted to fuse a mon with that, you know, it was a beneficial fusion. So you didn't want to waste a lot of your good Pokemon uh, on, like, a crappy fusion. Like, you'd never want to waste your, your Gibble on, like, a freaking, you know, on, like, a, I don't know, a bad mon, like Sunflora or something. And it also made bad mons good. Like, we fused Sunflora with Fortress to make Suntress. That thing was OPF. But yeah, we did play the hell out of that. Uh, the only way I'm going to go back to Infinite Fusion is if there's some sort of big update for the game. Um, hopefully a difficulty thing, because we did hard mode already. Hard mode was really fun. And the after game was good, too. Go wear leggings with a skirt. I do that in winter and some big boots. Yeah, girls basically need to wear uh, tour leggings in the winter. Pokey 1. Pokemon Alt. Ultra Red. Never heard of those. I'm a big challenge runner for Pokemon, specifically Shock, I will say. Like, I like challenge runs, like Nuzlocke's uh, specific types of challenges. If there's one thing that I'm, like, legitimately really good at, it is Pokemon. So, like, like how you are with Fire Emblem is how I am with Pokemon. Like, like I go crazy on Pokemon knowledge. Oh, come on, man. <laughs> FNAF accounts. Oh my god, I'm so behind again. See, this is why I need Dolphin in my freaking call, because I can't catch up with chat. So, so, so like, see the stats of any game. Terraria, Terraria's pretty popular, I'd say. Terraria, FNAF, or Undertale. Out of those... I think Undertale's bigger than Terraria. I know that's crazy for me to say, because Terraria's a lot older. But I do think Undertale's bigger than Terraria. Like, in terms of fan base. Um, FNAF? FNAF might be bigger than Undertale. As annoying as that is. It really might be. Undertale and FNAF are both huge on YouTube. Being huge on YouTube is, like, so insane. Hollow Knight Vampire Survivors is pretty big, too. No, it's not. I didn't even hear, the game, hear about the game before you two. Stardew and Dead Cells. I can see Stardew. Not Dead Cells, though. I love Dead Cells, but... Rocket League, Rocket League is pretty big. Dead Cells wasn't that big. It's known, but like not mainstream known. Yeah, true. Cuphead's definitely one I put, I'd put forward, though. I think Elden Ring is quite successful indie title, despite being niche. Is Elden Ring really an indie title? <laughs> Maybe Celeste? Celeste is pretty decently big, but I think it's only known by like people like me who love 2D platformers. Like, I don't think Celeste is, like, super mainstream. Like, definitely not on the same level as, like, Hollow Knight, right? Or Cuphead. Mainstream as in outside of avid gamer spheres, right? Please tell me this is sarcasm. <laughs> I assume that it's sarcasm. They won some awards, just some. Falking is back. Currently running on Evolution Fusion Run. That, that sounds like fun. Yeah, I loved Infinite Fusion. I mean, every run felt so unique, but at the same time, like, we had such interesting strats. And I had a lot of good clips out of that, uh, out of that playthrough, too. I just wanted to, like, look better as well. Like, I hated the overworld of Infinite Fusion. I think that's also in part just because I hate Pokemon fan games in general. Like, I'm much more of a ROM hack kind of guy. Because I just hate how fan games operate, like, with RPG Maker. Um, I just think they look ugly, too. But the game was so unique and so interesting for challenge runs that it made up for it, for sure. Understand Abby's stat lock rule. You can only have one mon per stat. Fuck Abby, you mean a type lock? I've done a type lock before. So if you ever had a mon which has a high attack stat, you can't use another Pokemon with a high attack stat. So yeah, their highest, it makes sense to me. So like, you can't have a Gyarados and a Darmanitan in the same team because attack is both of their highest stats. So it leads to a lot more interesting team building. I think it's interesting. 
No, as in Pokemon base stat. How do you choose them on? Nuzlocke like style, first money trap. Yeah, I see. Nuzlocke like style. Uh, it just means you may not be able to use the mon you just caught. So like, so the example I gave was if you wanted to, yeah, yeah, yeah. Does he mention that his brother worked on the FNAF movie though? He has. FNAF has 28 books and novels and nine games. FNAF is, that's what I was saying, Sean. FNAF is pretty damn big. FNAF might actually be bigger than Undertale. I mean, Undertale was huge. It even came with the whole Sans meme and everything. So I definitely think Undertale is quite a bit more popular than Terraria, but I could also see FNAF being a little bit more popular than Undertale. Not by a lot, I'll give it, because Undertale was still huge, but I think FNAF might actually be bigger. I mean, there's no Undertale movie, right? And there's way more FNAF games than there are Undertale games, so FNAF really might be bigger. It's not an indie title, please. Who said that? There's no Metrica aspect. You can even argue that Elden Ring is an indie title. Honestly, we should play Elden Ring for Variety Wednesdays. I still want to play Elden Ring. Now, granted, I'd have to get it on PS5, but it's an indie title. I'm just being a dumbass. The first Mon you catch have like 90 base speed as its highest stat. You can't use a Mon with speed as its highest stat. Yeah. I just like fan of the games too. I really don't know why. I just don't mesh with them. They're really like, they're annoying. They're not nearly as customizable. They just don't feel as good, and I don't even, like, I can't really explain it. Like, I love Insurgents and Uranium and all those games, but, like, I hate playing them. I love their concepts. I love, you know, even a lot of times their stories they're trying to tell are really interesting. They have interesting gimmicks, but they're just not as fun to play as ROM hacks, and I cannot explain really why. Even when they have, like, an inbuilt speed-up button, because usually that's one of my biggest things. If the fan game doesn't have a speed-up button, you're throwing. Like, that's all I'm saying. I'm not playing a fan game if it doesn't have a speed-up button. I'm sorry. Uranium, it took everything out of me to play Uranium because Uranium did not have a speed-up. Granted, Uranium is actually one of the best fan Pokemon fan games of all time. Debatably even the best. Like, it was really good quality, so it made up for it. But Pokemon's, Pokemon's way too slow. The Pokemon formula is way too slow to play without a speed-up button. Especially when you play as much Pokemon as I do. Uh, so I can only really play ROM hacks. Elden Ring is me and Abby are the same person as usual. Peak indie for the <laughs> Actually, there are quite a few AU movies of Undertale. What? Hot take, Deltarune is better than Undertale? I would agree. I haven't even finished Deltarune. From what I've played of Deltarune, yeah. It, it seems like it's of much higher quality. But, like, Undertale did something. Like, Undertale is still much bigger impact than Deltarune, definitely. Like... What Undertale did for indie RPGs is crazy. And, you know, I was glad to see a more, like, Mother-like RPG come out in recent times. Because I love the Mother series. I, I say that and I've only played Mother 3. Listen, man, Mother 3 is my fourth favorite game of all time, alright? <laughs> I couldn't really get into Earthbound. I tried. But Mother 3 is goaded, bro. I've played Mother 3 like five times through. Fan games and ROM hacks are also really funny whenever they're edgy. Yeah, I don't like it when they're too edgy. Like, Reborn felt too edgy to me. Even though the game did have a lot of unique aspects, it, it just felt a little too edgy. Too many green names in here. One must go. Like, I love seeing little 13-year-old Timmy's take on what would happen if people swear in Pokemon. Uh, yeah. Right. Look, a character died to death. Ooh. Died of Ligma. I think the best way I could put it is that, like, I think Uranium did the edginess just right. Because, like, what Uranium did with its story is that it did have a character death in it, but it didn't happen until, like, the climax of the story. With Reborn, people are dying left and right. Uh, there's freaking, like, you know, and I, I can't say that I'm necessarily against the idea of, like, a dark world either. Because, like, Reborn's whole world was a dark world. Where, like, you know, there's people smoking and doing drugs and all that, yada yada, so-and-so. But, like, it's the fact that it's everywhere, right? There's no colorful areas. I think Pokemon without, like, a colorful area is kind of hard to, to, like, sell. It's too murky. But Uranium actually did it pretty well, I think. The climax of its story had a character death. Like, that was the end of it, you know? I think that's how it should be. 
Come on, man! I caught up on chat, by the way. I'm proud of myself. I didn't need Dolphin's help after all. <sighs> Any other rules to the stat lock that we should do? Or what game do you think that we should do, Abby? Since it's your idea. Like, I would do it for fun. It's not going to be a big deal or anything, but I'd do it for fun. The next big Pokemon project probably will just be the, the later manor lock. Whenever that happens. Too many green names. Uh, ooh, Pokemon Clover. I love Pokemon Clover. That's another problem. A lot of the best Pokemon ROM hacks and stuff I've already played. I would play Clover with Dolphin. Unironically, you know what I might do? Yo! Me and Dolphin should do Clover for Nostalgia Tuesdays. Unironically. That is a game that we casually played through. Fudge. That is a game that we casually played through. It's one of our favorite games that we played through. It was not a Nuzlocke. It was just fun to play through casually because it had a really good difficulty system. But you could only use four healing items in battle. Honestly, we should do that. Dude, I'm down. Because I want to do co-op um, stuff for Nostalgia Tuesdays because I do have a lot of nostalgia with playing games with my friends growing up, especially Dom. Um, like Rayman Legends and... No, the new Super Mario Bros. games and stuff like that. Um, so yeah, I think honestly, Dolphin, Pokemon Clover, that could work. I know I said I wanted to keep Pokemon out of Nostalgia Tuesdays, but it's, if it's with Dolphin, I think that's different. Because I do have nostalgia with a lot of those Pokemon fan and ROM hack games uh, playing with Dolphin. How would y'all like to see that? Clover is a fantastic ROM hack. It's definitely very meme -y, but it's just so good that it, it, it makes up for it. It is also kind of... A lot of its jokes definitely could get offensive, I think, but... I don't think that they're too offensive. I mean, they are, but, like, they're obviously meant to be a joke. I don't know. There are some pretty bad ones in there, though. I don't know. Gen 1, so you can only have four Pokemon. <laughs> True. <laughs> Five Pokemon on your team, yeah. Because of the special stat. Uh, are we talking ROM hack or just a regular game? Soul Link? Uh, to be fair, if me or, me or Dolphin are going to do Nostalgia Tuesdays games, it makes the most sense for us to just do a Soul Link. Maybe we would just do Black 2, White 2, Soul Link. Because that's the first Soul Link we've ever done. I wouldn't be against that. Like, but only one. Like, I would only do one Soul Link for Nostalgia Tuesdays. And I mean, that's how we met, you know? We met through an Isaac stream. She was in my chat. That was back when I had only, like, one or two viewers in every stream. I'm lying. I had zero viewers a stream. She was the only one in there. <laughs> I'm capping to say that I had two at some point. That's crazy. <laughs> I'm, that's crazy for me to say that. Uh... Yeah, and then we, we talked about a, a lot of the Pokemon YouTubers that we both watched and how we both wanted to do a Soul Link, but we never did any because we never had Pokemon friends growing up. Sag. Uh, and now we're here. Pokemon, but you can only use Vaporeon, Gardevoir, Lopunny, and Salazzle. The Thirst Lock. <laughs> you don't do that already? <laughs> Shock does that every day. What do you mean? Mine a Harkle Soul Silver with Wild Mon Randomizer for Stat Lock. Sure. 
just for fun. I keep wanting to, like, make it a Drano hack, but we could do a base Pokemon game. It'd be fine. Yes! Yes! Speedrun? Yes! 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 We're back! I think you might be right. A randomizer might be the best way to just enjoy it. Plus, honestly, the one randomizer we used for the X and Y Soul Link, me and Dolphin did, I love that randomizer because you could, like, give trainers, like, six Pokemon and, like, competitive items. I might do that. Sounds like fun. Could do it as a balanced randomizer so it isn't too broken. Yeah, I'm down. So battles are still predictable, but your team isn't. Yeah, the randomizer that we used for X and Y Soul Link was really interesting. I mean, you could do a Drano hack, just do Storm Silver. Um, my only problem with that is that I don't want to get tired of Storm Silver because, man, Drano could Drano could just run up and release Storm Silver version two tomorrow, for all we know. Like, I want to be so ready for Storm Silver version two whenever it comes out, because that's the next Drano game, bro. That's the next Drano game. I'm such a Drano simp. It's the same for Emerald Rogue. Like, um... By the way, Shock, if we ever talk a lot about Pokemon Emerald Rogue, it's a Pokemon Rogue-like ROM hack. Uh, Poke Abby's the creator of that hack, so if we ever reference that Abby made it, it's because she did. Um, but yeah, like, Pokemon Emerald Rogue, uh, it's the same thing. Like, um... Like, I want to not play the old version... Because I want to, like, have that fresh experience into the new version. Same with Storm Silver. So I don't know. Bro, Drano could release that game any day now, bro. Any day now. He'll just run up and release it out of nowhere. Um... Harkle Soul Silver because you hadn't touched those games in a while. You are right. I haven't. Maybe I'll do base Harkle Soul Silver with the randomizer. I think that sounds like fun. Oh, he's remaking Storm Silver? You didn't know about that? Oh, you're throwing, Abby. You're not as much of a Drano simp as I am, bro. Come on now. You're throwing. Yeah, no, he's been remaking that game for... For well over five years now. It's definitely been well over five years. That's crazy. Because I remember I was DMing him about, like, changes for the remake before even COVID started. I say before it started. You know what I mean. Before the epidemic. Hot take. I think Gen 4 is my second least favorite uh, gen after Gen 2. Damn! Hot take. All right. Hey, I'm down for a Pokemon debate. Y'all know me. I'll debate Pokemon all day. What is, uh, what is it you don't like about Gen 4 Shock? Now, if it's about Diamond and Pearl, I completely understand. <laughs> Diamond and Pearl are trash games. But I legitimately think Platinum and Heart Soul Silver are some of the best games in all of the series. Like, they're both just so peak. But I think Diamond and Pearl are the second worst Pokemon games we've ever had. No, I still think BDSP are worse than Diamond and Pearl. I really do. Only because of the timing that they came out. Like, context really makes BDSP so much worse for me. At least for me. I mean, that's my opinion. But yeah, what, uh, what is it you don't like about Gen 4? Pocket didn't even know. Actually, I'm Drayano. I know Emerald Rogue. Emerald Rogue is fire. Ever made Emerald Rogue is a real nerd, for real, for real. For real, big nerd, not gonna lie. Pet the mods, true. Uh, I knew he was doing black, white, two redux. He actually didn't even do black and two, black, white, two redux. He actually gave that to Aphex Cubed because he was working on Sacred Gold Storm Silver version two. Aphex Cubed is the main creator of Blaze Black Two Redux. Grant Adriano helped. He gave suggestions, and like they mostly worked together on it. But Aphex Cubed was the main creator of Redux. He was, and that's why that game feels a little bit different than other. Drano games. I feel like Redux is a lot harder. Now, granted, I'm talking about challenge mode, so of course it's harder. 
but like it redux definitely felt a lot more like a nuzlocker like a hardcore nuzlocker's dream right like it's really challenging pandemic is scripted if we're gonna debate pokemon can we avoid bdsp this time there's only so many times i could hear the same convo about them that's true that's true that's true that's true we're talking about gen 4 though we're talking about gen 4 all right we're talking about older gens currently doing a franchise lock and i don't like the non-existent variety of fire types also i think it's too long-winded in diamond and pearl yeah definitely i mean platinum isn't great with the fire types either Harkosal Silver also the broken level curve. It's true. That's one of the only things Harkosal Silver didn't fix about Gen 2. Um, and that's like kind of one of the major things. That and a variety of Gen 2 mons um, for gym leaders and stuff. Um, I still think Harkosal Silver, like, all, like, when I really think about all the Pokemon games, I just think Harkosal Silver is so full, you know? Even if its main playthrough still has a lot of the same issues as Gen 2, it has so much just extra stuff. I know everybody brings up the Pokemon following you, but they did not have to add that in there. It's just something that shows the love for the game. So that's just like one example. Um, the freaking GB sounds, I love that mechanic, even though they only give it to in the after game. You can listen to all the Gen 2 music in game. Um, they improved the Kanto region, not by much, but they did a little bit. Uh, you could catch almost every legendary, and it was one of the last Pokemon games that had really cool legendary events. I still think Harkonsal Silver is very high quality. I do. The main playthrough has a lot of issues, and they brought the Battle Frontier from Platinum, so like, you know, it did the thing that no other remake could, include <laughs> content from other games. Let me stop. I can do this. No, I can't. <laughs> but no, you're right, Shock. Arkansas Silver does have a broken level curve. If your little Pokemons walk behind you, so the games can do nothing wrong. It's just something nice, right? From a from a gaming aspect. There's a lot of issues with Harkon Soul Silver. The level curves, the lack of good Gen 2 Pokemon. That's why Gen 2 is the worst generation, in my opinion. But I do still think Harkon Soul Silver, um, just as a whole, I mean, it's undoubtedly the best remake. Like, without a doubt. I, I really don't think that's a hot take at all. The only arg other argument is Fire Red Leaf Green because it stayed completely faithful and yet still added extra stuff and kept every mechanic from Gen 3 and Gen 2. Like, it w Fire Red Leaf Green was a perfect remake, but so was Hard Cold Soul Silver. So they, ba they basically did the same thing. The cute little Pokemon. Oh, uh, yeah. You have a total of two Fire types in the Gen 4 games, and one of them is your starter. That's only Diamond and Pearl, though. Platinum in increased it by quite a bit. Platinum gives you an EV, so you could have Flareon. Um, Magmar is available in Platinum. Uh, what else is there in Platinum? Oh, now, granted, I, I'm not going to sit here and... Obviously, Rapidash is still available. Um, I'm not going to sit here and say that the Fire-type variety is good in Platinum, but it's a lot better than Diamond and Pearl. It's just one of the many reasons why Platinum improved Diamond and Pearl so vastly. One of the many reasons. I think there's more than just those, though. But those are some pretty good options, especially since Magmortar is a new evolution in, in Sinnoh. And for some reason, they didn't give you a Magmar in Diamond and Pearl. I just don't understand these decisions that Diamond and Pearl have. I guess they were so focused on making the, the first DS Pokemon game, right? It's Rapidash. I actually uh, made Flint have a couple non-fire types in Rogue just because of how funnily bad that base Sinnoh dex is. Yeah, like give him some of the mons from um, from the Diamond and Pearl team. I think that's cute. That's what Dreano did in Renegade Platinum. He gave uh, one of Flint's optional teams to have his Diamond and Pearl team, which is like Drift Blim and Lopunny. And, you know, I, I think that's cute. 
Same with Volkner. Yeah, Volkner had like an Octillery and Ambipom. Like, what the frick is going on? God, Diamond and Pearl is so odd. One of the few good things happened is a physical special split. That's like one of the most important things, though. I would argue one of the... I think the only mechanic that is more important... Well, it's debatable. Because obviously you could say the special stat split is more important. But like... Oh my god. But like, I think... At least for games past Gen 2... For sure, the only mechanic that's ever been more impactful than the physical special split is abilities in Gen 3. I've always said that. I would always take abilities over the physical special split, don't get me wrong. But hey, second place is still pretty insane, alright? The physical special split is still an insane mechanical upgrade. Added seals so I can make my Pokemon say poop every time I threw them into battle, which they got rid of out of BDSP because they didn't want people to t do it as much. So sad. Very sad when the sales seals went away. Right. The Eevee is post-game. Not in Platinum. It is in Diamond and Pearl. In Platinum, they give you an Eevee in main game. This, I'm telling you, Platinum changed the game. Magmar is post-game? No, he is not. Magmar is in Platinum. I'm talking about Platinum. Magmar is in the Fuego Ironworks. He's just only available after Surf. I know this. I'm a Pokemon master, bro. Don't mess with me. I thought Eevee is in post-game in Platinum. Yeah. You just have to speak to Bead after badge 4 or 5. Indeed, yeah. Can't remember exactly. Flareon is pathetic, though. Good attack, but no moves. But I will give it this. Flareon's better in Gen 4 than it ever was in a, in a previous gen because of the physical special split. So at least it has that. Right? Granted, it's not much better because I still don't think it gets like a very good fire type move. What, does it get Flame Wheel? Or no? What does it get in Gen 4? Does it even get Flare Blitz? <laughs> I, don't, I don't even know, honestly. Gen 3 is probably the most cracked games in terms of additions. But fun fact, did you know Gen 3 did not uh, introduce weather? Bro, when I made that TikTok about the, the most impactful Pokemon uh, generations, bro, that blew my mind that Gen 3 didn't actually introduce weather. It was Gen 2. Bro. And it's the exact same thing as X and Y terrains. The exact same thing. Nobody <laughs> cared about terrains until the ability terrains came out. Same with nobody cared about rain dance and sunny day and all that because the abilities for them weren't out yet. Abilities in double battles. Yeah. I mean, double battles, especially for, like, Pokemon as a whole, um, double battles are insane. They really are. The only reason why I had Gen 4 as the most impactful generation is because of Wi-Fi. If you don't count Wi-Fi... Yes! Finally! If you do not count Wi-Fi for Gen 4, then it is easily, like... It's probably even under Gen 6, even. It's either right above Gen 6 or right below Gen 6 in terms of impact. But Wi-Fi is such a game changer. Wi-Fi and online. The Wi-Fi Plaza? I love the Wi-Fi Plaza, bruh. That's so nostalgic to me, man. That's why I did count it. Because there's so many things in Platinum that, like, they make use of the Wi-Fi and online so well, I feel like. Like, so interestingly in ways that other Pokemon games didn't do. But yeah, double battles, especially for, like, VGC, like, that's literally the way competitive is done. Um, so yeah, Gen 3 would have been number one if Wi-Fi did not count. Like, if Wi-Fi doesn't count, easily Gen 3 is number one. But Gen 3 was number two on my list. Um, and Gen 2 was number three, because, I mean, you know, special stats split, shiny Pokemon is insane. You know, shiny Pokemon, say what you will about it, I'm not a shiny hunter, but... Yes! You cannot argue that shiny Pokemon are not impactful to the series. There are people that have whole ass careers off of shiny hunting on stream. They have careers shiny hunting. Alright, it's like one huge aspect of Pokemon is shiny Pokemon. So, you know, that's huge. Breeding is a big thing. Um, still not as big as abilities or double battles, but I think it deserves third place. Or second if you don't count Wi-Fi. Gen 3 added cracks into the game. 
What do you mean? I can't earthquake the ghastly line anymore? Facade with guts. Bro, do you remember? Yeah, the Wi-Fi plot, uh, plaza was fire. I think my favorite generations are probably Gen 3 and 7. That is a very interesting <laughs> two generations to like. That's like, com that's such a wide gap. I liked 7. My only issue with 7 is that it's so unreplayable. Like, I loved my first playthrough with Sun and Moon. More than, I think, most of my first playthroughs of any Pokemon game. But, like, I can't... I've only fully played through Sun and Moon and Ultra Sun and Moon once. And for me, that's crazy. I've played through every single Pokemon game at least three times. Besides Sword and Shield and Scarlet and Violet as well. But those games are too new. That, I feel like that doesn't count. Um, like, Sun and Moon, man, I've had every possibility to replay through those games, but I just, and every time I try, I just, I can't get through it. But I, I still do love those games, right? They feel very RPG. Remember that being fun, but I don't actually remember what I did in it. Me too. <laughs> I feel the same way, Abby. I just remember having a lot of fun with it, but like... You know, it, I don't know. Gen 7, despite being very, very long in the beginning. Um, one day I will try to actually play Gen 7 when I can put up with the cutscenes. I can recommend playing Ultra Nova Sun or Penum Penumbra Moon as ROM hacks. I don't like the visuals of the 3DS games, which doesn't really help. I like them better than Sword and Shield and Scarlet and Violet. I actually think Sun and Moon is the best looking... Okay, besides Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee, I think Sun and Moon is actually the most the prettiest looking Pokemon games. That's not true. I'll always stand for Black 2, White 2. But that's because I'm a pixel art guy. If I'm taking away my preference for pixel art, um, like, if I'm only counting 3D games, I actually do think Sun and Moon looks the best. Like, yeah, it still has pixel problems and all that, but, like, everything looks like it should, right? There's no visual glitches or anything. Nothing looks muted to me in Sun and Moon. I feel like everything looks as it should. It's very consistent. I played through Sword and Shield twice. Eventually, I probably will do some sort of challenge for Sword and Shield. Here's an idea. Should I do Sword and Shield stat lock? It'd be interesting, honestly. Oh, but I would have no speed up. Never mind. <laughs> no speed up is such a bummer, man. Played through Sun, Moon, Ultra Sun, Ultra Moon, Ultra Nova Sun. Goddamn. I was going to play Sky on Violet again, but gave up straight away because it's still so laggy. Yeah. Yeah. It's so unfortunate. Honestly, I genuinely prefer Black and White to any three of the 3D Pokemon games. I do, too. No, I absolutely do. I, I backtracked. I, I said... I will always prefer 2D over 3D in Pokemon because I legitimately think it looks best for Pokemon. What the fudge just happened? But if we're only counting 3D games, I do think, and besides Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee, I absolutely think that Sun and Moon are the prettiest. 100%. It did everything right. It's just very consistent. I think everything looked pretty good, honestly. And on a 3DS? For, okay, at the very least, even if you want to argue that it looks a little too pixely because it's on the 3DS, we can all agree that for the console it's on, Sun and Moon absolutely looks the best. Even better than Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee because, let's be honest, as, as good as Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee looks, compared to, like, the console that it's on... I mean, Ultra Sun, Ultra Moon, Sun and Moon, Sun and Moon, those are some of the prettiest games on the 3DS. Like, let's be real. Just like how Black 2, White 2 were probably the prettiest games on the DS, honestly. Like, back then, Pokemon were, like, peak in terms of graphical quality. Like, not many games could even top that on their respective consoles. All the 3D games, I probably like Sword and Shield the best, which I know is a controversial opinion. Um, 
Which one do I like the best? Probably Sun and Moon. No, it's still Scarlet and Violet. Ah, uh, it's hard. Like, I enjoy Scarlet and Violet the most. But, like, my first playthrough with Sun and Moon was so much fun. But then I think back to my first play of Ultra Sun, Ultra Moon, and I just remember it being such a slog. I had to force myself to finish my first playthrough of Ultra Sun, Ultra Moon. Because it was too much of the same. It didn't really feel like a third version. But I think that's just because Sun and Moon is so slow. It's really hard. I don't think Sun and Moon benefits very much at all from having a third game. A third game. That could work. If only PLA looked a bit prettier. Oh, for real. If PLA looked even just a little bit better, I really think it could have so much potential. Well, PLA does have a lot of potential, but you know what I'm saying. Like, I think PLA would be a perfect game if it had better graphics. It really would. It'd be a perfect video game. Besides its graphics, what is an issue with PLA? Like, actually, there's no issue with PLA, except maybe it's battle system. But, like, I almost feel like I like the fact that it's different just for the single-player experience. Like, I can't even, like, put that against it. Now, granted, if they tried to make that the main series battle mechanics, then yes, that'd be a problem. But for a single-player experience, I don't think that the battle, you know, the battle mechanics are that bad. Not for a single-player game. Be my Pokemon Magnum Opus, for sure. Yeah, I mean, if we're talking about... if You know what? If PLA counts, PLA is my favorite 3D Pokemon game. There you go. 100% PLA is my favorite 3D Pokemon game. Like, not even a question. I loved that game. I, I played PLA like I played Breath of the Wild. I freaking loved it, and I was addicted to it. For me to get addicted to a game and play it for, like, 11 hours straight, that takes a lot. Sun and Moon and Usum... Which one should I play if I did eventually try one? Shock says Usum. I'm going to disagree. I think you should play Sun and Moon. I have always put OG Sun and Moon above Usum. Because I think if Sun and Moon's going to do... If, if Sun and Moon does one thing right, it's having the best story in, po in a Pokemon game. And I think the Usum story is worse. Even though the gameplay aspects are better in Usum. Like there's more mechanics, there's more content. Like especially in the after game. I think the main playthrough of Sun and Moon is better. But there is also more dialogue. So I don't know. It's debatable. But I don't even think the Usum story is very good. It does have Ultra Necrozma, though. Ultra Necrozma is, is a sick-ass boss fight, though. And Usum's actually harder. Maybe Usum is better. I don't know. It's a debate. It definitely is. I do own both Moon and Ultra Sun. I haven't played either. It's just an enhanced version. It's not just enhanced. It has a worse story, but more, um, more content. I don't know. I, I have such a sour spot for Usum just because I hated my first Ultra Sun playthrough. Because I played both games on release date. And again, Gen 7 is a slog to replay through. So I'm replaying through the, the sloggiest Pokemon generation. And it, it really tainted my love for Gen 7. Because I loved my first playthrough of Sun and Moon. God damn it. And I mean, I loved it. Like, I was in the credits. And, like, I was, like, I was, like, you know, I was getting a little emotional looking at these stupid Pokemon characters. Like, that takes a lot for me. <gasps> oh, my God. Name every Pokemon in PLA, Beach. PLA battle mechanics were fantastic, IMO, because they were great for single-player game. It would be terrible for multiplayer battle system, which is why that wasn't a thing. I agree. Again, me and Abby are the same person. I liked it for the single-player experience. So, you know, I know a lot of people would say that that's a negative for the game, but I disagree. I almost feel like it's a positive. Because it also made the Pokemon battles faster. <laughs> Flodge, I threw. Um... One of the greatest things about PLA was that it's it was fast. It was just fast. 
Pokemon battles have never been as fast as they were in PLA. They just haven't been. I think speed, if there's one thing Pokemon really needs to get better at, it's speed. Like, ugh. Going from PLA to Scarlet and Violet really hurt me. Because, like, god damn. They had it so perfectly, man. Even, like, if... Even though they're going back to the, you know, the normal battle mechanics, which they should do, they could have at least kept the battle speed the same, right? Like, battle animations are very quick, you know, very dynamic. Battle transitions are really good. It's not the... Like, that's outdated, man. You don't need those long transitions into every single battle, you know? Mostly focused on gameplay. If we're talking about just gameplay, yeah, Usum's definitely way better. It also is way more engaging for, like, challenge runs, too, because, like, Alternate Crossman is really fun to plan for. Um, the totems are definitely harder. The game, in all... I mean, Usum is the hardest Pokemon game. There's no doubt. If you don't use the uh, friendship mechanics, which are optional in Usum, thankfully... <laughs> BDSP, let me stop. Um, if you don't use the friendship mechanics, yeah, Usum is, without a doubt, the hardest Pokemon game. It doesn't even come close. Like, nothing comes close. The closest you can get is Black 2, White 2 Challenge Mode, but even then, like, Usum has EV trainers. Can I use the battle system in multiplayer? Calm down. Yeah, for real. Like, there's no issue with it, again, because it's not even, like, there's no competitive scene. It's impossible to play. Now, granted, I still think they probably should have let you battle your friends. Just, you know, obviously they'd never have, like, tournaments or you know, online or whatever. It could be bad, but I don't know. I don't know. It doesn't really matter either way. It's not meant to battle other people, it's true. Ursaluna and Sneasel are crazy good in comp. Yeah, but only in, you know, too bad they suck in PLA. Hey, I used Ursaluna in PLA. I liked it. Honestly, Ursaluna had such a glow up in my mind seeing it used in any game other than PLA. I loved Ursaluna. I used it in my main team. I grinded for that uh, Pult Stone or whatever the heck it was. Maybe just an option to disable the long animations. Yeah, I agree, Shock. Just give you more options. And don't not let me turn off the set shift option, bro. I said that in uh, the previous stream for this, but like not having that as an option slows things down so much. It might even be slower than Platinum. Definitely not slower than Diamond and Pearl, because Diamond and Pearl is, like, insanely slow. But, like, battles specifically, like, every battle requiring you to ask you whether to switch or not, that is that adds up so much. I mean, it really does. Animations at all, looking at you, Scarlet and Violet. Yeah! Yeah, that wasn't even an option in Scarlet and Violet. Like, what's going on? Why was it not an option? These are options that have been in Pokemon for ages. I just don't get it. It's just weird decisions like that in Scarlet and Violet that really boggle my mind. Because it's not like they would have been hard to include. They've been including them for years. Oh, come on, man. I'm so trash. I hope we hear about a new Legends game come February. I really hope Legends continues. My only issue, though, I don't think it's sold that well, right? I think it's sold okay. Really makes me sad if they wouldn't continue it. It'd be my dream if Arceus sold more than Scarlet and Violet or Sword and Shield. But it, it, was, it was never going to happen, man. It's one game compared to the duology main series and all that. Unova is basically asking for it. 100% uh, form Kyurem is just sat there waiting. Yeah, for real. It really is. So what about Zell's Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee? That's not bad, I guess. I really hope we get a continuation, man. Legends Kyurem, please. Please. Or even just, like, give me at least a hybrid for the next generation of Pokemon, of the mechanics. Like, K 
Can't we all just agree that catching in the overworld is better? Like, please? At least give me that. I know we're not getting the same battle mechanics. That's fine. I know we're not getting... Um, I mean, honestly, if you can catch Pokemon in the overworld, like, I don't even need a Legends game at that point. And, obviously, ma give me options to make it fast, like Arceus. Like, I feel like... Because, you know, Scarlet and Violet already had a, had a lot of what Arceus had brought to the table. Just in worse forms. So we might not see it again. I, I really hope we see it again, man. Either a hybrid of the mechanics for the next generation, or we get another Legends game. It would just be fantastic. In my franchise lock, Diamond Run. Yeah, see, you're playing Diamond. This is what I'm talking about, Shock. You can't be playing Diamond. You gotta play Platinum. <laughs> That's like playing BDSP over Platinum. Ew. <laughs> Dialga for a total of one battle because I got crit uh, one shot by the first E4 member and died. You know what I hate about playing Diamond? You know, I'm going back on it again. I probably would play BDSP over Diamond. Bro, one of the stupidest things about Diamond and Pearl is that the AI is random in Diamond and Pearl. Why did they think that was a good idea? Even Cynthia chooses random moves against you in Diamond and Pearl. Completely random. They do not look for what is the super effective move. They never make smart decisions. Except for, I think, maybe in the Battle Tower. But, like, in, in the base playthrough, I don't think they ever... Um, they just don't have smart AI. It's so bad. God of Time versus One Bug, who wins? True. How am I supposed to know uh, that a close combat crit kills? That's just something that you gotta know, bro. For someone like me, like, I know damage range is, like, in my freaking head because I'm a freaking dweeb. That's like playing Ruby, Sapphire, over Emerald. Yeah, but honestly, Ruby and Sapphire are not that e egregious. Like, Ruby and Sapphire are not that much worse than Emerald. Like, they are worse, obviously. But, like, I could definitely play Ruby and Sapphire. I cannot play Diamond and Pearl. Like, at least Ruby and Sapphire still has a lot of what made Emerald great. Like, what made Gen 3 great. But, like, almost all of my favorite things about Gen 4 come from Platinum, not Diamond and Pearl. Fudge. Like, Emerald is only one tier above Ruby and Sapphire. Whereas Platinum is like the third best Pokemon game of all time. And Diamond and Pearl are debatably the worst Pokemon games of all time. That That's the that's the difference. <laughs> I definitely think out of the version differences, I think Usum is definitely the, the least impactful in terms of how it changed the game. Oh, thank the lord. Oh, fudge. Guys, remember when I was doing good? Yeah, I think uh, the current plan is to switch to a different game for next week's Variety Wednesdays, and then we'll come back to this game at another point. No, I mean, you know what? No, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to put a poll for it. If people really want to see me beat the game, then that's what we'll do. You know what it is, is that I'm not trying to cope or anything, but like, I just enjoy the stream a lot more when we're talking about random crap like this. And I'm just focusing a lot less on the game. I'm so bad. Okay. Franchise lock is that I have to play every main game with dupes claws. Oh, that's interesting. I like that actually 
I want to do something like that with Dolphin, where, like, where, like, we race through the games. The problem is that, like, I don't know. I don't know if she'd be into that. Finished all the games, Edge and 1 through 3, and Diamond and Hercules so, so far. I can't remember. Falking energy is very much back. And you thought you'd beat this game in a single stream. Huh? <laughs> Copium. Dolphin did something similar a while back. Yeah, she did the generation lock. Okay, my Discord works again. That wasn't a franchise lock. It was just playing all the games as a randomizer, I think. I will always think that it was a throw for her to do... Like, she did the, the two games and the third version of every single game and the remakes. Bro, you are crazy. <laughs> she really thought that she was going to finish that, and she didn't. <laughs> like I thought. It was like when she wanted to play Undertale uh, and start with Genocide. Bro, that's one of the worst decisions you could ever make. Genocide for your first Undertale run is crazy. You should never do that. That was a recipe for Brenna. Exactly. Like, and she was like, nah, it'll be fine. No. <laughs> like, I was like, Dolphin, I know you better than anybody. You're going to get burned out. And she did. <laughs> Same with freaking Undertale. She lost to Undyne too many times. And she never played it ever again. And she never experienced why Undertale is a good game in the first place. In order to enjoy Genocide, you have to first enjoy... You don't necessarily have to first enjoy Pacifist, but you have to at least enjoy the neutral route. Because that's what makes you enjoy the characters. Enough to care about them in Genocide. Why the heck should you care about these characters that you're killing if you can't even see them at their best? Still never played Undertale? It's pretty good. I recommend it. Basically, one of the runs, Abby, in Undertale is the genocide run, where you kill all of the characters that you get to know in your pacifist run. That's why I think Undertale is honestly kind of a genius game, because, like, like Toby Fox really knew what he was doing when he made that game. Oh, come on, that should have worked. Because, like, you know, it, it goes off of those um, preconceived notions of RPGs giving you EXP for, like, killing things. It, it, like, makes it part of the story. I just think that's really cool. That you can choose not to gain EXP for its own run. And, you know, still easily beat the game. Like, it's not like it's a challenge. Like, the game's built around it. In fact, it's harder to kill everything. <laughs> the Genocide run is the hard run. Bas okay, but anyway, the reason why the Genocide run is so engaging is because it completely changes the game's story. But the story is only interesting if you actually like the characters that you're murdering. Three generations, three days, but I was so burnt out. Yeah, exactly. Imagine playing red and blue, then yellow, <laughs> then gold and silver, then crystal, then uh, ruby sapphire, then emerald, then fire red leaf green, then diamond and pearl. Bro. I sneeze when eating cookies. Poke Abby when first time Undertale stream. Oh, damn, I got a stream? To be fair, I would be interested in streaming, maybe. Hey, Poke Abby, if you ever do go back to streaming, hit me up. We could dual stream. We could do uh, we could do soul links and stuff. Although, like Dolphin, I'd prefer that we did a soul link on our own time before streaming it. It's just you know a preference thing. I'd like to get to know somebody like like. Uh... To be fair, I think I already have a good idea of like Abby's personality and everything just through chat. But we still have yet to talk in, like, a call or anything. So it's just different, that's all. It's more of, like, a respect sort of thing, right? Like, I don't want to, like... You know, I don't want to... Um... Like, use a person for, like, strictly content purposes, right? Like, I'd like to hang out with them, you know? And then we could have fun, like, in the middle of a stream, perhaps, right? 
That's just how I am, though. What do you mean, uh... My actions have consequences? <laughs> but I wouldn't do it regularly. Just every now and then, yeah. You can learn chocolate. You have to feel sad for the people you just slaughtered. Yeah, I mean, basically. Like, unironically. That's what makes the genocide run interesting. Promise Delvin for for a first soul link. Uh, let's see. Connor will play a soul link with himself. You you uh you should invite me to that Discord uh server, and then I can just like watch y'all play every now and then, like join the call. That'd be interesting. I used to do that with uh, my friend Julian and Murica. Like they would just do a soul link, and then I just like join in the call every now and then, see how far they've gotten. I think that makes sense. Once you get to know them properly in voice before doing everything in stream. Yeah. You know. It's just a preference thing, right? Not, nothing against people who do want to, like, have their first interactions in stream. I do think there's something interesting about that. Like, your first time meeting is in the middle of a stream. But, like, that just doesn't feel as genuine, you know? For me. I, I get it, right? Like, I get you're, you have your first interpretation of that person in the stream. I stream be like, hey, 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 hey. Uh, a stream with Abby would increase my view count tenfold. D I don't. I really don't think it would. It's not like I'm gonna like advertise like, oh, the creator of Pokemon Emerald Rogue, and I did a soul. No, I'll just be like souling with Poke Abby. You know, it's not like. I feel like that's only applicable to like if I did it with someone like Alpha Rad or something. Like, I mean, Abby's a great ROM hat creator, but it's not like she has like, like streamer clout or anything I just think it would be fun I'll be the biggest soul link streamer on twitch I don't think any of us will ever be the biggest soul link streamer on twitch playing other game with the creator of Pokemon Emerald Rogue in call clout milking indeed that was that was just bad I just want to have uh, more Pokemon friends, real talk, that are, like, deep into the scene. Fudge! I think doing Clover with Dolphin for Nostalgia Tuesday is such a good idea, honestly. The thing is, I really want to do more stuff with Dolphin, but we really don't have that much in common besides Pokemon. And as we've said many times, I've just become too much of a hardcore player. Like, I basically refuse to use items in battle nowadays. So it's just hard. Granted, I've always offered that I could just not use items and she can. But I think, like, for her, it just doesn't feel the same as it used to when it's like that. Like, I think she liked it ba better back when we both had the same rule set, but at the same time, she doesn't want to use the no item rule. Pokemon friends are pretty pog. Indeed. I miss the times of just chilling uh, with the DSs as- Ah! Oh! Those are the good old days, bro. No! <laughs> They really were the good old days. Yeah, I think that's I think that's kind of like why I put the impact so high for Gen 4 in my TikTok list. Cause like just back it was like a perfect storm. Like the DS era of gaming, it just felt so like community focused, you know what I mean? Like, it felt like you could just hang out with some random person, right? And play, like, New Super Mario Bros. co-op, like the minigames or Mario vs. Luigi or something. Or you could just, or, you know, you could just have a Pokemon battle or trade Pokemon with random people. Like, it, the world isn't like that anymore, you know? Now that everything's online. Like, people don't really like to interact like that anymore. It's kind of like a time capsule, almost. Like, I have so many memories of just playing with random people from, like, clubs or, like, like, summer activities or whatever. 
bring my DS, have random battles with random people. I mean, I spoke with Pokemon Challenges and Point Crow a bit. That's pretty cool. But, like... You know, that's pretty cool. I'm just not in it for the cloud, man. That's all. I feel like there will always be, like, that, like, preconceived notion, though. <sighs> Unfortunately. But, like, for example, I never would have asked Abby to do a freaking soul link with me if um if she hadn't chilled in my streams as much as she does Fudge. and you know anybody will know I I'm very particular about who I get into calls with as well reached out first. But a few DMs from some other content creators, but I don't tend to respond to my DMs very often. What do they usually say? I remember uh, trading mods with a childhood friend, and it felt so cool to have their Pokemon with their OT. Yeah! Uh, it was cool, and they get like a little experience bonus, too. I still have a Beldum that uh, he traded to me to get a bit of nostalgia from every time I see it. Bro... Uh, Turns out I've been here to steal Connor's count all along! Okay, unironically though, in a world where where Abby does not mention on any of her social media that she started streaming, let's say she just pops up at a, as a streamer. She does not mention on her social media platforms that she's begun streaming. She would get more clout from me than she would from creating Pokemon Emerald Rogue. I'm just saying. <laughs> I'm just saying, but the moment that anybody finds out, it's over. <laughs> uh, I'm just saying, bro. Um, not to brag, but I got into a call with Connor. It's true. Well, I mean, no matter what, you're not going to get into a call with me unless you're over 18. I've, I, again, I've made that very clear. That's another thing, like... It's also hard because, like, it's it's pretty easy to find Pokemon fans. But getting, like, Pokemon fans that are, like, in my age group is much harder. Like, people that have experienced Pokemon in a similar way t that I have. Like, me and Abby, we've lived through a similar age of Pokemon, right? And, like, we're both super nerds. Like, like yeah, sure, Julian and Murica have played Pokemon. Not even Dolphin has played to the same level that me and Abby have. Because, fun fact about Dolphin, her first experience playing Pokemon was through emulation. Her first console Pokemon game was Sword and Shield. Her first, uh, I don't even remember. Her technical first Pokemon game ever was Pokemon Tower Defense. Which, go to Tower Defense game, by the way. Now, that's a Nostalgia Tuesdays game. Unironically, yo, I'm gonna do Pokemon uh, Tower Defense for a Nostalgia Tuesdays stream. Absolutely. It's such a fun tower defense game. I don't give a damn. It actually is. It's pretty well made, too. I love Pokemon Tower Defense. But yeah, Abby would get like three viewers instantly from my streams. I'm just saying. Uh, I remember what the early streaming days were like, and I can't imagine it's gotten any easier. It definitely hasn't. I mean, uh, the thing is, is that, like, even though my average viewer count, from what I know, because I've always said I hate looking at the viewer count. Hey, Abby, if you ever do get into streaming, my first advice to any streamer ever, and I've convinced Dolphin to do this, I've convinced anybody to do this. If you're going to try streaming, turn off that viewer count. You cannot look at it. If you are able to see the viewer count, you're going to hate streaming. Because all you're going to be focused on is that number. And I did, you know, I, I did that for like two straight years. Where I'd see the number go up and I'd be like, I'd basically try to change how I was commentating to try to keep that viewer in. 
Um, and like that sucks, you know? Like, you turn that off, and then suddenly you're chill, right? You're never looking at it, you're never pressured to act any differently. It's just, it's nice, you know? Granted, obviously, I can always see chat, so I can kind of get a certain idea of who's watching. Like, how many people are watching, but it, it's different. It's very different. Like, not seeing a number go up or down, like, every two seconds, it changes a lot, I promise. Uh... Quickly went and followed Abby just in case she starts streaming just randomly. Okay, now to be fair, I'm giving all this advice to Poke Abby. Poke Abby, if she did release that she was going to start streaming, she would absolutely, like, instantly have a higher viewer count than I ever would. Um, my assumption is she'd probably on average have. Okay, if she streamed for a whole month. She'd probably average around 20 to 30 viewers. Like, the first few streams she would have, she'd probably maybe even pass 100 viewers. But without that experience of streaming, like, people will die out, right? It is still a skill to be a streamer. You have to be entertaining. Um, no matter what, she's going to get, like, that the original burst, like, from people from her Discord and stuff like that, right? But whether or not they enjoy her personality, uh, enjoy her as a streamer, is a completely different story, right? Like, for, for, like, Abby is a huge creator, so me saying that she would get an average of 20 to 30 viewers, like, even though that's way bigger than my average, um, like, it's very telling, right? like at how experience in something really does help a lot. Pokemon Tower Defense, woo. Yo, Pokemon Tower Defense is pog. It is, I love Tower Defense. I feel old now. I remember putting that on my mini laptop and playing it with a controller when I was a kid and thought it was the coolest, yeah. Yep, I never looked at the viewer count. But if you don't have anyone in chat, that sucks. I know, and it does suck. Hell, even at the beginning of this stream, I had nobody in chat for like the first 10 minutes. And Gamaf ran up and he said Friss, and he was like, damn, 10 whole minutes, nobody in chat. Honestly, reading that, like, it really made me realize how far I've come. Like, even though I might only stick around an average of four viewers, like, that's four viewers that I have for like the entire stream. Like, that really means a lot to me, y'all. You have no idea. And, I mean, let's, you know, let's put it all out there. If Abby were to start streaming, they're not coming really for her. They're coming for the creator of Pokemon Emerald Rogue, right? I mean, obviously, we would come and watch her streams, but that's different because we know her for who she is, right? Because of her being in chat so much. Um, but, like, I'm talking about, like, the plus, you know, 20 to 100 people that would come from, like, her Discord. They were, they're not really coming for her. They're coming for the creator of the ROM hack. I think uh, streaming psychology is so interesting. But yeah, nothing sucks more than having a nobody in chat stream. That hurts, man. It really does. Forgetting to unmute myself for like half an hour. That happens. That's one of the benefits of actually having people in chat that like care about you streaming. You know how many times I'll go on the bathroom break? And like that and then everybody will like bro you're muted and i'm like thank the lord y'all are in here because if i didn't have anybody in chat to tell me then i would have gone for hours <laughs> being muted imagine how many viewers i would get if i had uh uh food and drink cam too okay Food and drink. Hey, you what? Melons cam? I honestly don't think it would be that high. A few people here and from Rogue, but not at the moment. That's what I'm saying. Like, after a, a full month has passed, I think it would die down to as little as, like, 10 viewers a stream. Granted, like, 
you know, I, I'm assuming that you'd link your stream in your Discord every time. So you're always going to have, for every stream, you're going to have at least one person come from your Discord. Probably at least ten. But they might leave instantly if they see that you're, um, you know, not very experienced at streaming and can't really keep up an interesting conversation. Um, I mean, that happens, you know? That happens with a lot of really popular, uh, even content creators. Uh, going from content creation to streaming, it's a completely different world, right? One's an entertainer, one is a, one's a content creator. I'm not, re I mean, I am a content creator, but only on TikTok. Like, it's very different. Like, here, I'm being an entertainer. I'm not being a content creator. Service, slow down a bit. That's fair. Followage. <laughs> Shout outs to the followage. 15 days, bro. 11 months. Damn, Abby's about to make a whole year of followage. That's awesome. Damn, time flies, huh? That's crazy. For a year, three months. Yeah, y'all are the best. Thanks for uh, watching my crap. I don't like being wholesome. It's against my brand, but it is true. I haven't even followed for a year. I'm surprised it almost is a year. I feel like we haven't... Uh, you know, I feel like it... I guess there was a period... Yeah, I don't know. It's been a long time, I guess. Muted, yeah. I don't have the 7TV emotes show on stream. I don't know. But I'm not worried about it. It really doesn't matter. Melon cam equals titty cam. Oh. <laughs> I'm dumb. Well, I guess... Yeah, that would that would definitely get more views. <laughs> <laughs> I, I wouldn't uh, I wouldn't recommend it because then uh, not only are they coming for the Emerald Rogue Street, let me stop. <laughs> I would not personally recommend that. <laughs> I think the worst thing that anybody could do, I mean, unless, hey, you know what? Some people like just getting the that number up, right? For me personally, though, I'd much rather have like the four people that I have in stream, you know, coming for the conversation. Rather than having my uh, my tatas on stream, you know what I'm saying? I didn't know that. I'm too innocent. Or dumb. <laughs> One of the two. Too bad Connor has no melons. I know! <laughs> and then y'all all leave because you realize I have no melons. Stream is too wholesome. Where are the horny thoughts? True. This is probably really weird for shock because I am not usually wholesome. <laughs> I am not usually wholesome. I usually make fun of everybody in my chat. <laughs> Fudge! Fudge! That's just what the conversation led to, though. If there's one thing that I'll give myself as a streamer, I really do feel like I'm really real. Like, I'm gonna be 100% honest with all of my viewers. I don't give a damn. Like, I'm gonna tell you how it is. Like, I'm not gonna sugarcoat anything. Like, if I feel a certain way, I'm a, I'm a, keep it a, keep it a stack. Oh, is it wholesome or horny? Is there no in between? Who's the horniest person in chat? It's gotta be Connor. I am not very horny. I said this uh, yesterday in stream, actually. Um, I've kind of noticed that, at least now that I'm older, like obviously everybody goes through their teenage stages, um, assuming that they're not asexual. Um, like, everybody goes through their teenage stages where they're extra horny, right? But, you know, as an adult, like, I just don't really care. Like, I said this yesterday, like, it's so, like, irrelevant to me now. Like, sex is the last thing that's on my mind. Connor has Tata. Shoutouts, Tatas. I would be the in-between. Hey, now, you got paid to have your Tatas out. This sounds like a double standard. <laughs> 
Don't they have stat tatas, Connor? True. How old are you now, if I may ask? Take a guess. Take a guess, Shock. Honestly, Sam, I don't have the energy to be horny. Again, me and Abby are the same. Like, listen, chat, if you really think that I'm going for Abby's clout, like, you're crazy. Like, how could you not see all the similarities that we have? Like, if you have that, that many similarities to another person, wouldn't you want to be their friend as well? You know, like, personal friend? Like, I feel like that's so obvious. I mean, hell, you could go back to, um, when... You could probably go back to the first VOD where I played Emerald Rogue and she was chilling in my stream. Um, yeah, it definitely, like, you could tell, like, it started as, oh, yeah, she's the creator of the ROM hack. But then the moment she came into streams that were not Emerald Rogue, um, and honestly, even debatably in that same stream, because we were talking about, like, differences between the America and the UK, right? But, like, the moment she started coming to other streams, it's, like, completely different, right? And you know what, by the way, I wanna, let me throw a bone to Shock out here. Shout out Shock. You know, like you never know how a viewer is gonna be, right? Shock came out to the Jump King stream, even though they're clear, they clearly came into yesterday's stream for Fire Emblem, but they liked me enough to come into this stream. Shout out Shock. Can we get some uh, Ws in the chat for Shock? They came back for me. I doubt that Shock is a Jump King fan. I've always said, having a, a viewer come for the second time is the best feeling in the world. Especially to a game that's different from the first game they came in for. Like, as a streamer, nothing feels better than that, I gotta say. And Shock's been here for a bit. Like, it's, it's one thing if they come in, you know, say like, 10 words and then leave. You know, which is fine. You know, I'm not, I'm not gonna hate anybody for not enjoying my my uh my stream it is what it is you enjoy what you enjoy but you know it, it just it, I, it makes me glad to see that uh you know have somebody new enjoying the stuff mid 20 at most uh you're basically right shock i am 23 The VOD does exist, but it's it's buried in my base YouTube channel because back then I didn't have the VOD channel. Um, I would just posted all my VODs to my YouTube channel, so it's buried in the Later Manor uh, channel somewhere. I actually recently found it. But yeah, I always bring up that Sonic Frontiers stream because it was the first stream that Abby showed up in that was not Emerald Rogue. Like, I hated Sonic Frontiers as a game, but that stream meant a lot to me because we had a conversation about a game that had nothing to do with Pokemon. Like, that's cool to me. I don't know. Like, it was in that moment that I was like, uh, you know, Abby's not just the creator of this ROM hack. She, you know, she's an interesting person to talk to. And same with, any, you know, same with Gamaf, same with Grease, same with everybody. Just in different ways, right? And Dolphin was that way too. You know, Dolphin watch, started watching me for my Isaac streams, but now, I mean, we're super close friends in real life. Full edge I threw. I thought it was missing from the VODs channel. It's not on the VODs channel, it's in the Later Manor channel. Later Manor VODs doesn't have any public videos. What? Wait. The videos in Later Manor VODs are public, right? If you think about it, Connor has tatas. By the logic of Connor being the same person as Abby and Abby being a girl, therefore she has tatas. That is true. Good point, Grease. That is true. I really don't like Jump King Kick W. <laughs> it's a good podcast game though, right? Like it's just something to have in the background while I'm talking to chat. And you're here like Jump King? Nah. We're here for that content, that's right. But no, I like that. So yeah, that's why next week we're gonna switch to a different Friday, Wednesday game. Just because I don't want chat to get bored of this game, right? Um, but I always like a good podcast game. That's why I like Isaac so much. It's just easy to play it and talk at the same time. 
Like with like a Pokemon Hardcore Nuzlocke, like I feel like you have to hard focus so much that it's really hard to talk to chat. Or to have interesting conversation. I'm just here to enforce. Uh, if you can give me 20 minutes to shower, then I can be in call. No. Yeah, sure. I'm probably gonna go for like another hour or two. Something like that. I am the Law Dolphin. You missed the wholesomeness, Dolphin. The Dolphin. Good. Dolphin's not allowed to see me being wholesome. Uh, I hope you had a good sleep. Did you watch the new MSM Island? You said uh, you would. Abby fangirling over me. I feel famous. You didn't lie, right? Famous in my heart, Dolphin. I woke up at 12 p.m. today, texting you at 4 in the morning. I'm just gonna cry. Digimon would be in a. Digimon World is a nostalgia stream? You know what? I've never played a Digimon game, so it would be Variety Wednesday. Surprisingly enough, I've never played a Digimon game. In fact, I was never even into the Digimon anime yet either. I heard that uh, Digimon World was really popular anime for kids, like really popular kids anime. I heard it's actually not bad. Eight hours, ye. Anyways, BRB. Uh, they're public, but they're all hidden now for some reason. They're hidden now? What? Wait, I gotta look at this. Hold on. Pause. The Later Manor VODs channel is... Why? Wait. Now I'm scared. Here, chat. Tell me if, uh, if, does this video, like, appear fine to everybody? Like, does it show that it's in incognito? I mean, uh, that it's public or anything? Let me know if you could see the videos on the VODs channel. Because that's scary. That video appears fine. Hmm. Yeah, Abby was thinking... Yeah, Abby didn't realize that I had a separate Later Manor VODs channel. I have a Later Manor channel, which is, like, you know, for, act, for like, different stuff. Oh, my Twitch bio is a bad link. Oh, okay, I gotta change that. My bad. But yeah, I respect that shock. Glad to have you in the community. That's why I said. You're, you, you come to that second stream, and that's how you know. Okay, so I guess the VOD channel is fine. Feel famous. <laughs> Woke up at 12 p.m. the day I was texting you at 4 in the morning. Oh, yeah, right. Check asleep. Eight hours. Ye. They were probably, but they're all hidden now for some reason, I see. Oh yeah, that vibe with the old camera and the old apartment too. Nostalgia! That moment when you're getting nostalgia with the later manner. <laughs> oh god. I actually do- honestly, like, I love watching some of my old streams every now and then. I know that, uh, my- not much of my community are Isaac fans, but I made this one video, uh, with Julian, actually. It was a- like, who- which character has the first birthright in Binding of Isaac? I've watched that video, like, it's like a two and a half hour video. I've watched that video all the way through, like, three separate times. Like, I make content that I know I would love. Because I assume there's got to be more me's out there, right? I love the conversations in that video, bro. Uh, and I love nostalgia. I hate that old camera, though. Like, I never realized how high quality my camera is until I looked at my old one. Oh my god. Digimon anime used to be better. I heard it was pretty good. AK for 20 minutes. Um, oh, I hope Shock heard uh, my praise for them because they may have been unlisted or something. That video appears fine. It works. Oh, wait. 
You just have a bad link, yeah. I'm gonna have a background noise while I'm working. <laughs> what, the VODs channel? <laughs> I appreciate that. Bro, I still remember when your face cam was under your nose. <laughs> I remember watching your first rogue stream and I was so mad at the Kahoot because there was a question that I hated in it or something. I didn't join chat until second stream. Wait, there was a question that I hated in it or something. Oh, so like you watched the first rogue stream but you didn't say anything in chat, that's interesting. There's some Abby lore for y'all. Now I, I'll never consider Abby as like a like a celebrity or whatever, um, but just in general, like I don't think people should really treat celebrities as like, as celebrity, like as like gods or something. Like they're people, you know. Like Andrea treats freaking Taylor Swift like sh she's some sort of god, like she's some higher being. Like what? <laughs> like you, know, you can have respect for somebody, but like you know, treat them like a person, right? That was so bad. Like, the way I see it, maybe this is a hot take, I don't get the point of, like, concerts, for example. This is just a me thing. I would never go to a concert of anybody. Because at the end of the day, I'm spending... Well, especially a Taylor Swift concert, because I'm spending $200, $300 to see one person on stage. Like, I, I don't know. I get this is kind of a hot take, but like, why would I spend so much money to just watch somebody on stage? And like, a lot of times, like the noise, like, I don't know. It, it's a lot for me, at least. I, I uh, for concerts, especially, like I could see myself sitting through a comedy show because I feel like that's different, right? Maybe this is just, just a difference of preference. I don't really care for concerts that much. Like it's too loud, um, and like it just doesn't feel that interesting to me. Like, yeah, it's impressive for sure that they can go on stage and sing the song that they, you know, that they made live. It's definitely impressive. Don't get me wrong, but. I feel like I'd only see it as a level of being impressed rather than like actually enjoying it. Let me catch up on chat. Uh, did indeed big lurk energy through and through. I'm glad that we got you out of Big Lurk energy for the most part. I mean, you know, I appreciate Lurkers as well in their own way. But uh, I do always have a bias for the people that are actually chatting. Not gonna lie. I mean, hey, I'm always glad to have people enjoying my stuff, whether you're chatting or not. But the way I see it, if you're chatting, you're, you're increasing the engagement of the stream and that engagement makes it more interesting for more viewers to watch, right? Hell, this conversation I'm having right now would never have happened if nobody said anything in chat. It just wouldn't have. Loud noise hurts me, so a concert sounds like- Yeah, I literally said the exact same thing, Abby. Uh, get the appeal if you want to enjoy the atmosphere in the crowd, though. Just very much not my thing. Yeah, I kind of feel the same way. I don't know. It's definitely a hot take. I I can still see it. It doesn't even really, like... Oh, I'm so bad. It doesn't even follow the same point that I was trying to make. You see these perfect jumps? 
mind. Shouldn't have said nothing. Old rest stop layout too? You're looking at my old layout now? I hated that old layout. It was so ugly. I I vastly prefer having the uh, the borders. Let me honestly, can I get a uh, mod poll? I want to see this actually. A poll, not a prediction. I want to see. Do y'all like my old layout better, where I had like my camera like over the game, or do you like the borders like this? Like it used to be like chat chat and camera was covering the game, but the game was the whole screen, right? Because I know Mel, one of my other mods, um, they actually vastly prefer having the game over. And, like, they wish that my camera would just, like, you know, be over. Thank you for the mod poll, whoever created that. Yeah, vote in the poll. I actually want to see, like, what do y'all prefer? Just curious. Like, I, I don't know. For me, when I'm watching something, I prefer to have the whole game on the screen. Like, I don't want anything to be blocked. It's the same thing with, like, TV. Like, for example, you know what I hate? I hate trying to watch an anime where they, like, like old-style YouTube, like, where they used to stretch out the anime image so that way it fit the whole screen, even though it's supposed to have, like, the black bars on the left and right because of, like, aspect ratios. I'd always rather watch with the black bars because having it stretched out, it just looks ugly. Like, I want to see the whole thing, right? Like, the original way that's supposed to be interpreted. Crush 40 concert. This VOD, uh, you're there talking about how you wish Dev adds at least Gen 4 mons. Okay, that was funny. It's a time capsule, right? I'm, I'm glad that I was actually, like, blind to that to that secret. Like, once you beat the game, you unlock uh, other gem mons. I do like that, but I don't know. I Man, I still wish that it had Gen 4 evolutions, even for that first playthrough. Bro, it hurts. It really hurts my soul. Like, just seeing mons like Yanma not have an evolution. I hate that crap. Little did baby manor know true... What is this link? Oh, this is the link that yeah, this is the VOD for Gamath. Yeah, what's funny about this one, Gamath, is that Look at Gamath being so wholesome in this stream. You got this. What does Reckless do again? Eh, it's quite al late already. Going to bed. Enjoy the stream. Good luck, man. <laughs> Look at Gamath being wholesome in this stream. <laughs> New layout. Two whole people. Shoutouts. Yeah, I like the new la layout better. It's simple, I know, but I I just like it uh, better. See me in this vibe. For the current layout, pull made. The camera angle also so much better than the old one pre-move too. Uh, this camera angle you think is better? Good. That's something I was always worried about. And I like having, like, the stuff in the background now. That was one thing I couldn't do in the other one. Because I had that freaking workout equipment. I like having all the nerd stuff here. Just something interesting to look at in the background, right? And a blanket on the door. For pull-ups. Uh, back, how's it going? Welcome back to Stream Mainless. We're talking about streamer struggles. Comfortable I am, the less wholesome. True. <laughs> I mean, I feel like that's how everybody is, right? The closer you are to somebody, the more real you're going to be. The more rude you're going to be. Guys, I finally caught up on chat. Alright, chat. What, what games do we think that we should put in the poll for next week's Variety Wednesday? I think I can only fit five, right? I need five games to put into the poll. What do we think are the most popular? We'll definitely put Vampire Survivors in there, since uh, Mainless has been begging for that one. It's like fun banter. Not rude in the, me in the mean sense, just joking and prouding. Play yeah, definitely. I'm never actually mean to anybody. 
Um, and if it seems like I am B, it's because I want you to act like in a better way. Like when Derfster's trying to get me to look at his freaking draft team for the 57th million time in the middle of a stream. I'm streaming right now. <laughs> Please learn. <laughs> Like, yes, I'm going to be a little mean to you in that case. Because you're not getting the point. <laughs> I'm mad. <laughs> Honestly, I shouldn't keep making fun of Derpster in that sense. He got a lot better about it. He really did. See, that's what I'm saying. My, my aggression worked eventually. Vampire Survivors, Subnautica. Ooh, Mainless wants to see Subnautica. That's my recommendation. Uh... <sighs> I hope that the Switch port of Subnautica is good. That's what I have it on because it was on sale, so I just bought it one day. I assume it'll definitely run better than streaming it and playing it off my laptop. Uh, but yeah, like with the, going back to the whole like streaming, uh, like if Abby were to start streaming again, I just think it'd be fun, right? Do some co-streaming together. It's the same thing with Dolphin and Fodge. Friend request? Oh, <laughs> why? <laughs> Wait. Why did you decide to add me as a friend right now? Oh, I found it. All right, I did it. You know what I want to do more of? I want to do more streams where I play like tabletop simulator. We did, me and Dom did one tabletop simulator stream where we played Isaac board game. That crap was so much fun. Because I'm a big board game fan. But I don't know, because like, I feel like streams of board games are kind of boring though, right? I just like playing board games with friends, bro. Like there's some things that I, I, I want to just do, like I want to just play, but at the same time, Like, as a streamer, it's hard to, like, just play games without streaming it. Right? Again, this is another streamer struggle, but, like, I feel like it's hard for me to enjoy games casually nowadays. Like, Persona 3 Reload, for example, is coming out, and, like, I, I feel like I have to stream it. Because if I don't stream it, I'm never gonna stream for, like, the next three weeks. <laughs> I'm gonna just be honest with myself. Like, that's gonna consume my life. So, like, I feel like I need to stream it because I'm not gonna have time to play it otherwise. You know? Streamer struggles. Oh, thank the lord. Uh-oh. Woo! Um, let me catch up on chat. We made it back up. Dying Light? Dying Light is 6 euros on Steam at the moment. Deal ends in 20 hours. Oh shoot. Okay, send me a link to it, Abby. And uh, I'll buy it. 6 euros? What's the conversion rate for that? I, I doubt it's... It's probably around $6. Obviously not exactly, but... Or not euros, it's pence. Why did I say euros? That's freaking... I'm dumbass. Is it pence? Is that right? When the light is dying. 
Did I not click confirm? Oh. <laughs> I saw that, like, at the very end. That's funny. Uh, Dive Ligma. So I, I can gift you DL and force you to play it. <laughs> I mean, technically you could, but I can just buy it myself. It's fine. Just send me the link to it. Nobody has to buy me something. It's just, if you want priority, then that's fine, I guess. Uh, it's pounds. Pence is our version of cents. Right, 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 right. It's funny because I literally just said that in the other stream. And, like, I was so smart. I was so proud of myself for knowing that. And now I'm instantly changing my mind. No way! Okay. <laughs> Six pounds is seven dollars. Yeah, I can just buy myself. That's fine. If you think it'll be a good game. Although, another thing. Make sure, like. <sighs> Steam games are hard, man. Uh, is it around the same level of quality as Wolf Among Us? Because even Wolf Among Us had some lag spikes when I streamed it. Like, I mean, that was fine. Like, it, it was, you know, it was definitely good enough. But I'm just saying, like, there's a range, right? It is an old game, so I would hope you could stream it on low settings. Okay. It's just hard. That's the main reason I want to get a PS5, because I'm never going to be able to stream high quality on the same console that I'm playing. It's, like, basically impossible. Come on, man! You could get it on Switch, to be fair. Uh, it was really good. Dying Light Switch... Well, is it on sale on Switch? Amazed they got it running on the Switch. If you're amazed they got it running on the Switch, I probably can't stream it on the same console. Okay, but no matter what, if it's $7, I'd still buy it anyway. Maybe in a million years when I finally get a new PC, I'll, uh, I'll be able to play it. That's the great thing about Steam, right? Oh my god. Huge. We're back, boys. Okay. No! Okay. New PB. Okay. Pause. Okay. How am I gonna get up there? I don't think, I don't think that works. I don't think I have this angle. Okay, maybe I could do it from like here. Oh! The Great Frontier. New area, Pog? Who would have thought I would have made some progress? Shock, did you hear my, uh, did you hear my wholesome co comment? About, um, welcome, welcome back to the stream, by the way. And I was like, yeah, thanks for coming back to the stream. Hope you enjoy the community. Yada, yada, so-and-so. Because, like, you know, with people that come for a specific game, you know, you never know, right? I mean, everybody comes for a specific game, right? But when they stay around for a game that they don't care about, they stay around for you, that means a lot, right? So I appreciate that. Uh, let's see... 
Even Abby came because of Emerald Rogue. She never would have freaking found my stream if it was not for Emerald Rogue. But then it changed. How did y'all... There's a good question. How did y'all first find me? Gamath found me through that Pokemon video. Grease, what, what was the exact stream that you first started watching me on? Uh, I guess I have to, God, I hate this. I actually hate this. I guess let's go this way. Cause it looks a little easier to get up. No. Okay. I was bored and looked around in the Pokemon category. What happened? And I prefer to join uh, smaller streams. Oh, right. I was bored and... Oh, okay. Right, right, right. You're answering my question. Well, that's how it'd be. It's pretty funny, too, because, like, I love streaming and all. But I actually, I don't really even watch, I don't actually even like watching live streams, to be honest. Same with, but with Heffy, yeah. But why Connor's that? To be fair, with, with smaller, um, with Pokemon, that's really hard to get attention for because Pokemon's such a big franchise. With Fire Emblem, especially specifically, uh, the Game Boy Advance one, which I had, uh, been playing, there probably weren't that many streams even available. So, like, my chances of being found by a specific person is a lot higher. It was the same thing for Spelunky when I was a Spelunky 2 speedrunner. Um, a lot of new people were consistently finding my stream. But I found out that they were mostly only watching for Spelunky 2 and for my speedrunning of it. Not really for me. Which is fine. Again, it is what it is. Um... Again, no matter how much I like a streamer, I probably would never watch somebody play Halo or some FPS game or something. It just depends, right? So what the frick am I doing here? <laughs> Can I like cheese? Hold on. Okay, we've gotten the cheese. Um, Bro, how the hell do I get up? Can I make it from over there? I guess I have to be able to, right? You have Discord muted me thinking. Oh shoot, are you on Discord already? I'm throwing. Okay, yeah, Abby sent me dying light. I'll check it out later. Um... Can you hear, Dolphin? Wouldn't that be funny if you if you could hear Dolphin and I can't? Oh, no, it might be me. Hold on. All right, I'm back. She's spamming ducks. Hold on. She do be spamming ducks. Hold on. Hold on. <laughs> All right, I'm going to do the classic. Hold on. The classic. Hold on, hold on. You already can know. Close Discord and then open it back up. The plays. Like smaller streamers because I like communicating. Do you remember exactly what game I was playing when you first joined in though? Just curious. Because you know, I really have been streaming for a long time. Um, 
the only reason why we've managed to create this community is um, very slowly. Very, very slowly. All right, I'm back in here, but... Oh, wait, 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 wait. I gotta play, I gotta play, I gotta play. I gotta play. All right. Say something. Hola. Okay, you're good. I'm sorry, I was a dumbass. Ducks! Yes! Yes! How was the Honkai Star Rail update? It was good. Hmm. I liked it. All right, don't worry, chat. My my chat reader's back. You can you can stop struggling with me getting getting behind. Fuck! Where are you? No, it's okay. I'll, I'll catch up on myself for now. Hold on. Uh, hmm. basically the only one live at the time, Keg W. Well, hey, we take those. It was the same thing for Splunky too. I was just saying. Uh, probably yours was the best looking small stream. Let's go. The best of the worst. <laughs> I'll take it. <laughs> Uh, let's see. Discord muted. So, Dolphin, Lamau, Dolphin, did you watch the new island? To be fair, Discord pooped a bit ago, so it might have silent kicked him from the call. No, I was just being a dumbass. I had it muted. Um, none of you can, none of you can hear me. Try to leave voice and rejoin. Uh, from a different country. It's probably because you sat in the voice channel while Discord is down. Talked on Skype. So anyways, Abby. Bro, remember Skype? Ja, ja, ja. Ja, ja, ja. Um, I remember when... Here's something nostalgic. Remember when we used to... Uh, when we used to do soul links on Skype? One of the biggest str problems with it was that only one of us could share our screen on Skype. Mm -hmm. um, so we would like alternate to share screens. But then the moment yeah. that we figured out how Discord worked, we were like, wait. This changes oh, the wait. game. All right, 10 bucks. I'm going to miss this jump right now. 10 bucks. <gasps> Yo! I never agreed. Yo! <laughs> okay, uh... How did you find this stream? I mean, why Connors? Uh, probably the same reason for you. She didn't. She said that she uh, preferred smaller streams. I'm pretty sure the first stream I ever joined was the first episode of TikTok Lock. That, oh, yeah, that's true. Yeah, we had a lot of people join from the TikTok Lock, but I think, um, surprisingly enough, I think Grease is the only one of those first batch of TikTok Lock viewers that are, like, omega consistent. Now, granted, a lot of the TikTok Lock people were younger, and they're still in school, and they're in America. Um, so like, you know, that, it kind of, like that, that was bound to happen, right? Um, but yeah, you know, the TikTok lock was a big deal for me, but I, I feel like it was more so a big deal because like, it kind of was a shift in like, I guess like the quality of my stuff. Like I cared a lot more about how my stuff turned out, right? I just released the 1.2 update for Rogue, I think. And it was nah, he doesn't things. care. He never cared. True. Didn't chat and too many of them know. I remember my first comment being, oof, am I late? Stream intrigued me enough during my lurk that I thought I would rejoin for another stream. Love to see it. Love to see it. How wholesome. Oh, we were talking about streamer struggles earlier. That's why this whole uh, thing came up. Like, oh my god, wait. And then Abby was saying, oh god, going back to streaming, maybe I should, or whatever. And then like I... when, um, like when your viewers don't tell you when the audio is bad? True! That's it. I mean, we brought that up earlier. I, I said one of the best things about me always having at least, like, somebody in the chat is that somebody could always tell me if my mic is muted. True. <laughs> ah! Bro, I'm in a new PB, Dolphin. Yeah, I see that. Okay, this is just a full send. Woo! Okay. Did you see Abby fangirled for me? I feel so popular. Oh, okay. I joined and Abby said, Dolphin! And I was like, ah! And she was like, ah! 
And I was like, oh my god. I don't even see Poke Abby as like popular anymore. I just I just see Abby as just, you know, another one of oh, the cool I do chatters. It. I do it ironically. That's fair. Oh hi Mareko. Wait, did Mareko join the call? Yes. He's got Kaka uh quality though. Yes! Mareka, do you see how much progress I've made? <laughs> no, you made fun of him and so he left. <laughs> oh, that makes he sense. He said screw you. Uh, let's see. Am return. We weren't talking about you, Abby. Don't worry. It's okay. Oh. Yeah, we definitely weren't. We definitely weren't talking trash. Don't worry about it. No. No, all, all I said about you was that I don't really even consider you as, like, a celebrity anymore. It's just Wow. Like, it's just like... <laughs> it's just wow. Like, oh, yo, it's Poke Abby. Fire. Nah, she's a celebrity. What? I just, nah, you know, no, I, I think I think of my chatters as my chatters, and y'all are all pretty cool. Your mom's a chatter. Nobody's a celebrity in the later manner chat. You can consider, consider, well, definitely in the first Rogue stream, I said, yo, Rogue creator in call. I mean, in, in a chat, fire. But then, like, instantly, like, a week later, it was just like, I know, wouldn't... It's just norm. Yeah, I wouldn't say like celebrity, but. Well, yeah, okay, yeah, no. I mean, celebrity is definitely. I mean, out of higher. all the people I know, you're probably the most well known. People yeah, I no. know, you're probably. Bro, why is there echo? But yeah, America, do you see how <laughs> far I am? Um. Yeah, you're super far. Isn't that cool? Yeah. It's crazy. <laughs> oh! Yo, Giovanni is in Honkai Star Rail. Shut the frick up. <laughs> no, I'm not kidding. This guy's name is Giovanni. That's not the Giovanni, though. The legendary. <clears throat> okay. No way, bro. Is this Wait. Does have voice lines, or is it just... Okay. Abby really is like the cool kid who hangs out with the loser kids. Nah. How long did you spend on that one jump in Bargainburg? The one where you have to jump in the middle? I know exactly what you're talking about. Yeah. I Okay, really no joke. You can check the VOD. I did it first try. Damn, that's impressive. Yeah. Well, then I failed it. Like, when I fell late, later on, I failed that jump like two times, I think. But honestly, that jump wasn't that big of a struggle for me. Hmm wild uh let's see not a celebrity she's like cool kid hangs out the loser kids i'm literally a programmer nerd not the cool kid though yeah we're all freaking losers let's all be real um okay so i guess i gotta land on this thing and fail Woo! first try all right full send i should not have full send I wonder if I can land on this from here. Hey, Connor, fix chat. Thank you. Pre Shivakadu. Pre Shivakadu. Okay. Oh my god, the speedrun tech. Dude, I was the coolest kid in school. Were you, though? No, I wasn't. I, I was part of the theater kids. I I specifically aim to not be part of the cool kids. Like, the cool kids let me into their group, and I said, nah, y'all are freaking lame. I was just a quiet kid who was always on his phone. I was, I was such a weird kid in high school, because, like... Well, I always say this, but, like, I was athletic, yeah. but also a freaking dweeb. Like, I could not... If I tried to converse with the cool kids, I would not be able to converse in any way, shape, or form. <laughs> yeah, if you weren't, like, if you weren't captain of the cross-country team and, or whatever. And tra well, and, like, you know, like, there was, like, a bunch of stuff, right? Like, and then I, like, did this whole, like, arm wrestling competition with all the football team and won. And that was, like, a big deal or whatever. 
Um, I want to be a theater kid, but I can't find the drama club in my school. You don't want to be a theater kid, Grease. You'll never come back from it. <laughs> no! Okay, this is fine. Ooh, you're about to get to the snowy area. There's a snowy area that I got to earlier, but I guess somebody said it was the DLC. What? No. There was a snowy area, um, and I started going through it, and then, um, uh, I think it was Abby that said it was, it was the start of the new Babe DLC. That doesn't make sense. From what I know, I think it's true. No, there is a, the new the Babe of Ascension and New Babe DLC. Those are things, but they're like completely different maps. But I think you could access the map in main playthrough. Hmm. Like it's a secret. Like you have to find it, and I found it by accident. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> I will say, Grease, like you can join the obviously you join in the theater club is cool, but sometimes theater people can be really toxic. You just gotta learn to ignore them sometimes. Like the toxic people, at least. Okay. Is this fine? My school never had, like, theater kids, I don't think. No! Mine did. Like, like thinking back, I don't know a single kid that was in theater. Oh, no. I know a bunch of people that were in chorus. Here we go. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I'm getting kind of cracked. Pause. So I have a friend who streams on Twitch, and Is I have their been name keeping the later this manner. No, because you would never do this. I, um, he's, he's like, a so whatever, he streams on Twitch. Um, and the other day I was in call with him, he was playing Valorant, and I was just, like, hanging out. And I'm, I, I have been waiting to say this story because I needed to wait for the VOD to clear on Twitch before I said it. Dude said my father's full-ass oh. name on stream. Damn, the throw. D dude literally name-dropped... Like, obviously, you know, a lot of people, like, if, if my, if my no. community or whatever found that stream, they would find what my last name is, and they would definitely know my full ass name at this point. Well, except for my middle name. But I had to wait, like, a while for, like, the VOD to clear, and I know he doesn't post his VODs. And I was about to yell at him so bad on stream. I was about to say, what the fuck is wrong with you? What? I don't want people knowing my name. Why? What gives you? Who gave you permission to say my last name? What the fuck? It'd be like that. People would be, be throwing. Just trying to respond. Um, oh, well. Your phone, bro. It could be anything. Doesn't have well. to be your phone. Okay, I'd be just trying to respond. The, the energy requested earlier, haha. <laughs> of course. Damn, bro, how far did you fall? Fall King. Damn, for bro, real, how real. far have you gotten freaking Jump King? Oh, that's right, not even past the first jump, freaking loser. Connor, check your Imagine phone. Buying jump King. Did your phone, was your phone ringing, Connor? Was it? I don't know. Gamaf says to check your phone. I opened it up to Fire Emblem 6. Or your plug, we can't know for sure. What? Oh my god, Andrea was calling me. I threw. Okay, wait. Commentate over my stream. <laughs> Damn! <laughs> Damn! That moment when your chat knows your phone is ringing and you don't? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, that's so funny. <laughs> Damn. It was actually me. I'm entering. <laughs> That's so funny. <laughs> and he's still playing. ADHD took over him and just put the phone on mute. 
That's so funny. Y'all really said, check your f- I was still jumping. <laughs> I really said jump king. Watch him fall and he's not allowed to react because he's on the phone. Oh, yeah. Wow. <laughs> he did that shit first try again. Damn. <laughs> That's crazy. Jump King now, we that go is jump probably King. probably one of the hardest jumps in the game. Now that the focus is on you, you know what time- No, the focus isn't on me, the focus is still on Connor. Y'all need to watch him play his game. Can he still hear you both? I think so. Yeah, he still has his Probably. headphone on. <clears throat> so he can hear it when I say Connor's a bitch. Oh. Oh, we could try to make him laugh. Literally trash player. Is he even Isaac Lord 69? Nah, he's Isaac Lord stupid. <laughs> the, the stupid. <laughs> the, the stupid. <laughs> uh, that was funny. Yeah, got him. <laughs> <laughs> we got him. <laughs> Damn, how are you gonna call me Isaac Lord stupid like that? <laughs> Mention me. <media>. What? <laughs> Isaac Lord stupid got him good. Really did get my ass on that one. Easy game. Oh my god. Oh. <laughs> but yeah, no matter how many streams. Now, I already said I'm probably not gonna stream this for Variety Wednesday next week. But maybe it'll be like an in-between Wednesday game, or hell, maybe I'll even randomly do it on Monday or Thursday. Just because I think people are getting tired of this game. But, we will beat this eventually. You but can what tell. I'm hearing is you're giving up. I never give up on any game. Except for games that I legitimately dislike, like Halo. Like, I don't, I don't, I actually, I kind of like this game, honestly. I think it's fun. But, like, you know, I don't play games to have fun. I play games to entertain on stream. Fudge. And as much as I might like a game, if people aren't liking it, then they don't like it. You know what I'm saying? I don't know, kind of that Isaac Lord 69 title might go down to Isaac Lord 68. In what world does this look like the Binding of Isaac to you? <laughs> America, would you be down to be of the of the of the uh to be a part of my planned co-op save file whenever Isaac co-op comes out? Sure. Sure. You're okay with doing it like for stream and stuff? Yeah, I don't care. Pog. That guy looks like it's gonna be fun. Um alright chat, what else do you want me to talk about? We're still jumping. ADHD took over. Game. Just put the phone on mute. <laughs> I never give up on any game, aside from the games I give up on. True. Okay, like... Olden. You can try to make him laugh. Stupid. Earth. One, two, three. Mention BDSP. True. I used to go that stupid, got him good. I don't know, I, I, yada yada. Never got on a game. But like, roguelike, roguelike? How the hell would you make a jump king roguelike? Just like auto generated levels? I don't know. That'd just be weird though. I mean, to be fair, Spelunky is auto generated and that's really good. Yeah, but something like Jump King is just a platformer, and that's it. <laughs> that is true. Spunky has a big emphasis on, like, exploration and stuff. Um... Be procedurally generated jump puzzles. Fudge. 
All right, all right. Give me something interesting, chat. Because now we're all the way back in the colossal dream. You see, this is Murica's fault, real talk. We were all the way in the freaking... <laughs> we were all the way in the freaking whatever the frick. And now the moment he joins, we're all the way back here. Back down in the sewers, boys. It's okay, because look how quick I go now. You see my speed right now? You see any Ninja Turtles down there? Okay. Did you see any Ninja Turtles down there? Ninja Turtles, no. Man. Fuck! Like... That's what you get for not seeing any Ninja Turtles. <laughs> Here, wait, maybe you can see him this time. <laughs> no, fuck! <laughs> Where's Leonardo, bro? I'm more of a Donatello guy myself. <laughs> you should, Donatello you should let Andrea play when she gets back to see how far down she can get. I did at the end of last stream, and she brought us all the way back to the beginning of the game. But yeah, no, Andrea was calling me to get her freaking package. Cause, okay, so like, for some reason, like, even though we, our apartment complex has like a locker, um, all like UPS or whatever the freak, like Amazon deliveries, they'll always just like throw whatever package on the floor instead of actually putting it in a locker like they're supposed to. Wild. Um, and she's like, and we've had like our packages stolen before because like when we had our HelloFresh, for example, like, um, like somebody else had HelloFresh. So then they took our freaking food and then we get a, like completely the wrong order. So we just stole their food and we were like, you know what, whatever. We know exactly what happened because it's the same what kind of box. What if there's somebody else in your same apartment complex streaming right now talking about how some bitch stole their HelloFresh? <laughs> well, good. <sighs> so yeah, now I gotta go. But not right now because I still want to stream for like 20 more minutes or so. I had to fight for it. Oh, you're gonna end stream to go get the package? I mean, yeah. But, like, not yet. Mm. What is, like, a guilty pleasure game that y'all play? Like, a game that you know is bad, but you love playing it? I'm not allowed to say the name on stream. Oh. <laughs> what is it? Yo, League of Legends is a dog shit game, but I have fun. It is so bad. Yeah? I guess that's fair. Yeah. It is the most toxic game you will ever play in your entire life. But that's not really, that's not really a bad game. That's not really a bad game, it's just toxic, right? Yeah, it's a bad experience. <laughs> I mean, no, I'm talking like a, like a trash game. That you just love playing. Honey pop all the time, bro. Honey pop, dude. But that's a Fuck great yes. game. What do you mean? <laughs> it's high quality. It's like one of the best puzzle games of all time. I got every achievement for the first honey pop. I'll never <laughs> forget. <laughs> don't, I'll never forget when I saw some that. Smexy games going on or something. <laughs> I'll, I'll never forget when I saw your America's freaking uh, Steam page somehow that he thought he privated. And like I saw, <laughs> damn, he spent like 100 hours on Honey Pop. And he was like, how, how did you see that? <laughs> he really thought that it was hidden. I was like, damn. Crazy. CSGO is toxic. CSGO is pretty toxic, I will say. I, I, I've noticed, I mean, it's probably just because I'm not into FPS games as well, but like, I don't really play as many competitive games in general. Like, it's not even just, like, FPS games. Like, I don't play League of Legends. I don't play MOBAs Literally really the well. only competitive game you play is Smash. Right. Um, and technically Pokemon. But that's, like, more so, like... It's more niche. Like, I don't even play, like, official Pokemon competitive. 
like I play showdown competitive, which to be fair does have a ladder and everything, but it's not like, you know, it's not the same. I've been to one Smash tournament though, that was cool. For me, it was like when I was a kid, like all those freaking like trash ass Sonic games that were being released. Bro, I loved all of them <laughs> because I was just such a Sonic simp back then. And I always bring it up. Sonic and the Black Knight, bro. That game is completely awful. It's Sonic with a sword. That, that's the gimmick of the game. And it controls like ass. I don't think I have a guilty pleasure game at the moment. Okay, you have to, you have, to have a guilty pleasure something. Like a, like a movie or a TV show or something like that. I feel like TV is a lot easier. My like a lot of pleasure show is easily supernatural. Like an easy one is a uh, like Future Diary. Like that's a trash anime, but a lot of people love that. Oh, it is a trash anime, dude. It oh, is really it bad. sucks. <laughs> but it's like a garbage Julian fire that's kind of fun to watch. You know what I mean? Julian likes it. I hate it. I. I can't, I can't say I hate it. I'm a little indifferent. I did watch it all the way through, so I can't really say that I hated it. Such a trash anime. Oh, garbage. But you, yeah, it's definitely trash for sure. But it is also like, it's a garbage fire that's like, oh, okay, okay, here, here's another one. I saw um, a Trash Taste uh, vi video about this. So what do y'all think is like the, uh, the Mount Rushmore of anime? <laughs> Dragon Ball Z. It's it's essentially just like the big three, and then also Dragon Ball Z. Okay, no, no, no. But like when I when you'd say Mount Rushmore, like you have to classify it, right? Like Dragon Ball Z could be like the shonen anime, right? Of Mount Rushmore, like there could be different genres. Like you can't just have three shonens in Mount Rushmore, right? Why not? Because yeah, it's, gotta, it's, gotta it's got to it's got to rep. It's got to. Doesn't matter. <laughs> you got to rep. You got to represent. Your right now is not American. You need to find a different metaphor. Oh. I'm so sorry. The more important, uh, uh, like the most influential anime, basically. But like, okay, so like anime is a lot more than just shonen, right? So like, it's important to have like representation of like a, a lot of different like aspects of anime, right? It's so, like Dragon Ball. I feel like you need a better rep, better me metaphor than Mount Rushmore because most of the people on Mount Rushmore, people don't even really know them. All right, I, th that doesn't matter. You get my point. I it was <laughs> that really does not matter. You missed the entire point. Like, what you are the most- Mount Rushmore was supposed to be full body statues? I really don't care, bro. Did you know that there's a monster <laughs> living in Mount Rushmore? Did you know that there's a secret alien uh, cover-up by the government inside of Mount Rushmore? Mm-hmm. Did you know that Walt Disney's head is, 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 in, uh, is in Disney Castle? <laughs> yeah, it's uploaded to a supercomputer. Mm-hmm. He's still alive, bro. Mm hmm Mount Rushmore trivia tour, apparently. Trivia hour. Oh, hour. All right, I can't read, sorry. Meanwhile, Grease has been singing the entire theme song to Sonic and the Black Knight. He freaking does that every time. <laughs> every time I bring it up. Did you know that originally, know that originally most okay no go 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 ahead go ahead go ahead you know that originally mount rushmore was just giant statues of teacups until america gained independence <laughs> what <laughs> that's funny huh? uh even though it wasn't built until the late 1800s <laughs> Mount Rushmore lore. <laughs> Took like fucking 60 years for that shit to get built, too. Okay, but like Naruto did it, so like how hard could it really be? <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> I'm sorry, real people don't have jutsu to work with. <laughs> I mean, I'm just saying, like... The teacups magically shattered and they were the future president's faces. Her heads, yeah. Okay, so like, basically, for example, like I could see like Dragon Ball and like One Piece both being on there, but like I don't think like Naruto should be on there. You know what I mean? 
Because, like, I feel like... I almost feel like they... Um... Are you saying, like, what four anime best represent all of anime? Well, yeah, I mean, it doesn't have to be, uh, you know, just like... Or, no, no, I, I wasn't... Like, or, like, I no, not like the map... I feel on Titan should be on there. Yeah, no, I think so, too. Well, that, that's a good... It's a, you know, it's a different age of anime, right? Like, you can't just no, have only... Be. You can't have only old anime on there, either. There has to be multiple generations, as well. It's very subjective. Well, of course it's subjective. That's the point. Hello? <laughs> is any opinion ever going to be objective? It is objectively my opinion. <laughs> like if you don't... All of my opinions are objective because I'm always right. My opinion is objective, obviously. But like, if it is objectively my opinion, then my objective, and then my opinion is objective, right? <laughs> it's objectively my opinion. My brain is breaking. Oh, to be fair, I don't watch enough like new anime to really like say much. Like Death Note would definitely be on there. No, it would not. <laughs> Bro, Death Note was so influential. I feel like it would. Bro. How many anime are you putting on this? Okay, no, no, no. Okay, no, no, no. I'm sorry. I said the wrong thing. I meant to say I mean, the seven... I meant to say the seven wonders of anime. Like, the seven wonders of the world. That's what I meant to say. Bitch, Mount Rushmore and the seven wonders of the world have nothing to do with each other. True. Okay. And when did I ask? And isn't it eight? No, it's seven. But there's like okay. an eighth... I there's like an eight. eighth... There's like an eighth hidden one, though, I think. Mm. I think no, it's like a, a hidden one. That was the plot of a movie, I think. Oh. But yeah, no. So Seven it's like... Wonders of the World are Statue of Liberty, um, Great Wall of China, Pyramids, I, Taj I was Mahal, gonna say the pyramid. um, the theater in Sydney. I'm the eighth. You know, I'm the eighth wonder of the world. Sounds like a Gamaf comment. I'm surprised that was not Gamaf. Um, Stonehenge and... Bro, Stonehenge is cringe. Ah, uh, yes, yeah, Stone Edge. Stone Edge? <laughs> no, Stonehenge, bro. That's the last one. Imagine not knowing cringe. I know, right? What are the seven wonders of the world? I know all of the history in the back of my head. And they it, they list me like 20. All right. Great Wall of China, the Chichen Itza, uh, is which is- building in Russia? No, that's the, that's a Mayan pyramid in Mexico. Well. Okay, but no, I, okay, no, but going back to it, I say Death Note because, like, it's, like, literally the best anime to recommend to a non-anime fan. One, two, three, four, That is literally five. not true. Oops. Name, okay, okay, what is better? I'd love to hear your opinion on Demon this. Demon Slayer. Incorrect. It's no. literally the fastest growing anime in the past he has a whatever point. amount of years. He has a point. I <laughs> was watching Demon Slayer, and bro, it's not, up. And it's not ridiculously long. But it's not even finished. It is finished. What are you talking about? The anime isn't. The manga is. Well, that's not, I'm we're talking about anime. Here's my issue. Here's my issue with with Death Note as recommending it. The first season is really good. The second Probably season the is shit. Season. It's the first thirty episodes. Isn't like the season. first? Yeah, the first the first bit of it is good. You know, unpopular and then opinion. It un unpopular not opinion. That good. Unpopular opinion. <laughs> while I agree that Death Note's way better in its first half. It's not bad in its second half. It's still good. It is garbage, dude. It's not garbage at all. It's still good. <laughs> it's yeah, pretty it bad. It's so it's boring. Bad. No, because you're comparing it to what it was. Yeah, exactly. It's all one show, Connor. <laughs> yeah, I know. But, like, it's still, like, the second half of Death Note is still better than most anime out there. No, it's not. Yes, it is. That's bullshit. It's absolutely <laughs> not. But don't worry, guys. Don't worry, guys. This conversation is purely objective. True. <laughs> My side is purely objective.
I would never put My Hero Academia on there. My Hero Academia is so good. As much like, as, not as like much as I, best anime, but it's like really as good much anime. as I agree, as much as I agree that I wouldn't put it there, I do think that it might, like, I don't think it should be there, but I it think fell that off it, so hard. It probably would be there. You haven't even ass. finished the most watching it. Season was finished so watching it. Fucking good. You haven't. Fi you don't get to have an opinion. You haven't Hello? finished it. Hello. That's my point. I haven't finished it, so it fell off. <laughs> no, Bro, just because so you stopped watching it doesn't mean that it fell off. Okay, 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 okay. okay. Besides me, 100%, that is the consensus of the internet. The consensus of the internet is that Bro, everybody stopped no, watching it around season the new age. Everybody movie. stopped watching around season three or four. That is no, not it, no, no, they did not. Or they struggled through, like, the slow seasons. I mean, maybe, but, like, not... Not Abby enough says, to get everyone to stop watching it. No, not everyone. That's not what I'm talking about. I'm just saying, like, it is the consensus that the first two seasons were, like, were its peak. It's No, it's not. That's of popularity? That's 100%. That's a lie. 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 That is a lie. Of its popularity, 100%. Absolutely not. 100%. Not like, I hear, no this, I hear a lot about this. I hear a lot. No, I'm talking about popularity alone. Popularity alone. That's what I'm talking about. Bro, like season yes. Four was still gas. Season four was gas. Season six is good. Like season seven is gonna be fire. Yeah, I agree that it's peak popularity, definitely not peak of the content though. Well, yeah, but that's what I'm talking about. Like for example, um, like with Attack on Titan to compare it to, Attack on Titan season one was probably the peak of its popularity, but then it came back for season three and four. Now. Uh, season two is where it fell off, but the fact that over seventy-five percent of the show was like super hyped up and talked about the community, like the anime community as a whole, is pretty crazy. But like I, the fact I don't know what happens in a lot of My Hero Academia is very telling to me, because I know Fucking amazing shit happens. That's what happens. Like you can get an idea of a lot of what happens in an anime just because of how much hype, how hyped up it is in the, in the internet. The My Hero movies are also fire. Not the first one. The second, They're the really two, good. second the, and third yeah, My Hero movies are so good. That's They're crazy so that you good. say that because I just saw this anime <laughs> podcast where they were saying how trash they were. Oh my god. What are you watching, bro? Garbage media. You you shouldn't get to have an opinion. I, I, I Listen, I never watched them, so that's not what I'm talking about. I'm just saying that the people that I watched, <laughs> they said the complete opposite. No, uh, okay. The second and third My Hero movies are so good. Yeah, they're really good. But apparently they're just like filler. So? Who cares? Have they're you watched good. Naruto? No, I only watched the canon episodes. I actually well, that sounds like a you problem. I only, like, I, I technically, the movies have no... Um, they have no consequence on the show, but like they're really good. Yeah. Uh, the thing I find interesting with Attack on Titan is that every season feels like the stakes are higher than the previous one. Yeah, I agree. I mean, I that's why I'd put Attack on Titan on the Seven Wonders of Anime, just because I feel like it's so consistent. Yeah, I would I would definitely agree with that one. Um, whereas, uh, that's the only thing I'm trying to say about My Hero. It doesn't feel as consistent. Now, granted, I can definitely say it's a great anime. Because, I mean, hell, from what I've seen, I really enjoyed it. But, like, even compared to, like, like the big three, like it doesn't compare at all. But the thing is, Connor, here's the issue, right? I have, like, you know how you show some, like, we're not talking about consistency, popularity. I don't give two shits. Take that out of the conversation completely. I have gotten people into anime by watching My Hero. Yeah, but I've done way Which you more can do with, with, with Attack on Titan too. You can do that with Attack on Titan, Naruto, My Hero, Death Note. Like you can get people, the. Like, I feel like the point of what you're saying is, like, the seven wonders of anime would be, like, can I show somebody this anime and get them into watching anime? I think, um... You know what I oh mean? Yeah. Oh, yeah, no, I, I agree. Well, that's, like, Excluding one category. Excluding opinions. You can do that with My Hero. That's Easily. One, that's I've one, done that. That's one category of it. Like, for example, like, there, like even though, like, um... 
like that's that's one category like even though dragon ball for example is like i put it on there no matter what but it's not because of me being able to recommend it to people because i would never recommend dragon ball as a first anime ever it's very like it was my first anime and it was lit well uh, yeah but like would you really tell somebody as their first anime to watch a dragon ball yeah because it's awesome. no <laughs> no you wouldn't uh you absolutely wouldn't like there, like there's different categories to it, but obviously it should still be on there because of how influential it is to the anime sphere. Like there's a lot of different categories I'd put into it, and like representing a genre as well, or like. You know, I feel like Dragon Ball is a fair representation of shonen as a whole. Um. Uh, yeah, I would have preferred villain Deku kick W. I should be with 43% filler. Yeah, I mean, if you, if I'm gonna recommend Naruto to anybody, you really need a filler list. Like, you actually need one. There's some filler in there that's good. I've seen a few of the good filler episodes, but like, barely any. You wanna yeah. know something funny that I just hmm. looked up? Uh, uh, not Attack on Titan. Um, MHA has 138 episodes. One, two, three, four of them are filler. And one, two, three, four, five of them are mixed canon and filler. Uh, it got no filler. You know what else barely has filler? One Piece. One Piece has like not. That is so But scary. I've heard a lot that it does the, the Dragon Ball Z thing of dragging out fights in the anime. It does, but it's bearable. I think if I'm ever going to enjoy One Piece, I think I'm just going to read the manga. Dude, honestly, it's... so worth. The anime and the manga are exactly the same. Yeah, but the manga, you know, you'll get through it quicker and like, you know, you don't have to... It's not as much of a time commitment. The only thing I'd say about the anime is that it's just like, obviously, stuff is more impactful. Like with voice acting and everything. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Although I don't know. Like, I mean, I, yeah. I like I like manga. I I'm always I feel like I'm always able to get the full meaning out of a scene. Um. Nah, bro, that shit hits different in One Piece. My brain wants to say Berserk. Berserk's a huge one, but I would definitely like I would either say the manga or the movie. The Berserk anime. I would only say the manga. The Berserk anime is not very good. Although the Berserk movie was pretty good as well. Uh, let's see. I feel like High School DxD should be in there. <laughs> to represent True, Etchy? Honestly. To represent Etchy, I'm down. Yeah, I feel like it should be in there. It's the best Etchy anime. Tell me I'm wrong. 100%. I, it's, it's either that or High School of the Dead, but I'd always go uh, High School DxD. Bro, why is High School of the Dead literally the only zombie anime? It kind of is. I can't even think of one. There are other an zombie animes that have, that technically are about zombies, but not like a zombie apocalypse. But no, unironic. Like th that's exactly what I'm saying, though. Like there's an etchy anime, like something to represent a genre. Like that's a big part of anime is etchy, right? <clears throat> Fudge. Uh, let's see. I mean, I feel like it would be a given. I I think Pokemon would be one. <sighs> but does Pokemon represent anime though? I would Pokemon's the most represents... cartoon out of any anime ever. <laughs> I mean, yeah, you're right, you're right. Okay, you know what? I know a lot of people say that. Let me at least defend this about Pokemon. It still does operate like an anime more than a cartoon, 100%. Because it's an adventure. Not many cartoons are an adventure. It's always like you could watch any episode in any order and enjoy it. It's a comedy, right? But Pokemon is not aimed to be a comedy. It's aimed to be an adventure like most anime are. Yo, remember Brock's lit line about his drying pan? That's crazy. Well, yeah, but that, <laughs> I mean, you know. His drying pan. It was a, that was a fire-ass line. As a drying pan. As a drying pan. There are a lot of iconic moments in Pokemon, but like. I don't know. I feel like it feels like a cop out to include it. The Ooh, only these jelly donuts. The I only, haven't. Um... The, the only way I'd include it is if best theme song was uh wasn't was a category. 
because it it's the most have one of the best anime theme songs ever. And it's funny because it's only the American one. <laughs> well, the the Japanese True. one's good too. Japanese nah, one's good Japanese too, one but sucks. it does, okay. It doesn't suck, but it's not nearly as good as the American one. Bruh, it sucks. But yeah, no, it's like not as good as most anime intros. But yeah, no, if anime intros were a category, it absolutely like it would be. It I've I've said this before. It's the it's the biggest anime intro of all time. And then uh, Dom was trying to argue with me that Evangelion's was bigger than the Pokemon theme it's song. It's not bigger. It's better. It's de it's yeah, bigger. I'd, I'd agree that the song's better, but it's definitely not even close to bigger. Like, not even close. Like, you go to any per like any normal person ever and start singing the theme song. Like, if I say I want to be the very best, and then anybody will say that no one ever was. Instantly. That's like saying, let's get down to business. Yeah, exactly. Honestly, great, great analogy. Like, it's... It's so iconic that it, like, transcends the anime itself. Mm -hmm. So that's why, like, you know, if we're talking about theme songs, I put Pokemon on there, but... The anime itself, I don't know. Because it, cause it is also, like, let's all be honest with ourselves, it's a big marketing thing, right? You have to include fate in some fashion, just down to it being like one of the highest grossing anime franchises ever. The Fate franchise made an estimated lifetime revenue of seven billion dollars, sitting just below GTA and just above both X-Men and Superman. Damn! But I feel like it doesn't represent- like, yes, it makes a lot of money. But like, I could say the same thing about Pokemon in that case. Because like, Pokemon makes a crap ton of money. But like... It's not about the money, it's about representing, like, anime as a whole, right? Like, that's why if I was gonna give Pokemon anything, I'd give it anime theme song. Because it, it legitimately, like, it placed... Through its own song that it created, it placed something that's, like, revolutionary, even. That everybody knows. Um, I need to watch Fate. I don't like know fate. what order Nobody... to watch Fate in, and that's why I've never watched it. There's I so can, many fate I, first. No normie will know what fate is, though. I'm sorry. No. You know, I don't know what fate is, though. Not really. Yeah. Like, it, 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 I it, just know there's like 30,000 different things. Every every show on the Seven Wonders of Anime needs to be known by a normie. 100%. At least they've had to, heard, to have heard of it. Okay, but if we're talking about modern anime, like Seven Wonders, I definitely think Jujutsu Kaisen, and I definitely think Chainsaw, Chainsaw Man should be in there. I don't know. A lot of people didn't like Chainsaw Man for some reason. The the I one know, thing I'll the one I thing I'll say it, so I, I wouldn't know. I don't know if it's fair to put those in there since they haven't ended. Like I think it's important to only include anime that actually like have ended because like hell that's the one reason well, then, why I wouldn't even put Attack on Titan on there yet. Well because, then you can't put One Piece. I mean we basically got the cl the climax of it right. I mean I wasn't gonna put One Piece anyway. No. I haven't even seen it. <laughs> no. Yeah, the climax. No. About? Okay. Well I don't know then. I mean, I don't know. I've never seen it. Um, I was going to put Dragon Ball as, as shown in anyway, which I feel like is very valid. But I almost feel like Dragon Ball is like... It, it transcends the shonen genre as well. It's like... It's like pop culture as a whole. Like, Dragon Ball almost is anime, right? Fudge. It was so funny because I... I love I left telling this story, but I don't know if I've ever said it to you, Connor. Um, I used to work at this distribution center when I lived in Oregon, and this guy one time walked up to me and said, Hey, I have this friend in Japan who gives me, like, uh, what's it called? Like, he knew Japanese, and so he was like, I have a friend in Japan who gives me manga earlier than it comes out in the U.S., and tells me about, like, and gives me, like, CDs that have episodes of anime that haven't come out in the U.S. that are burned onto the CD. And he goes, so I can watch anime before it comes out in English or just, you know, before it comes out anywhere. And he told me, he goes, he's like, listen, he goes, uh, he's like, keep an, keep an ear out. And I'm like, why? And he goes, there's this new anime that's going to come out soon. And he goes, it's popping off in Japan. So it's going to, it's going to get an English translation. And he goes, he told me the name in Japanese and I was like, I don't know what that means. And he goes, it's gonna, it's something along the lines of Chainsaw Monster Man or Chainsaw Man. <laughs> Later on in life, I was sitting there like, yeah, this motherfucker told me.
help me. That's actually really cool. That's actually, that's actually really cool. I'm not going to lie. It was so freaking cool. And once I saw it like popping off, I was like, oh my God, he was right. That's pretty sick. I'm not going to lie. I sh shout out to yeah. that guy. Um, yep. I don't like Dragon Ball and do not hold it on such a high regard as you do clearly. I get why people wouldn't like Dragon Ball. Because like, the thing is, is that um, I feel like it's hard to enjoy Dragon Ball nowadays because of how toxic the fan base is. Um, I watched it at a time where um, like it was still very not cool to watch anime. So like nobody talked about it, right? And I think that that helped a lot. So I was just like able to enjoy it without any of the negatives of the fan base or anything. Um, fix chat, my bad. Um, I feel like you're picking the f seven wonders. You should acknowledge the recency bias. Like picking recent anime almost feels r feels almost rude. Yeah, I agree. That's why I said we shouldn't include anime that haven't finished, like Jujutsu Kaisen or Chainsaw Man or hell, even Attack. Yeah. I, I would even argue you should not include Attack on Titan until we see the the ending because it at technically until we see yet. finale part two. <laughs> section three but okay now no okay no no matter what i won't include it because that hasn't ended right i i think it's fair to say that because like for example right like you know what if one piece ran up and pulled a boruto out of nowhere like that would completely ruin its story <laughs> right i mean i haven't seen one piece but True. i haven't seen one piece but but all i'm saying is that could is that, easily ruin it yeah yeah like does anybody really enjoy Boruto over Naruto? Like, if you've seen both, there's no way that you uh, enjoy Boruto it. sucks. Yeah, like, there's just no way. And then it's just... And I, I guess I could say the same about Dragon Ball Super. It's kind of a similar uh, situation. Dragon Ball Super's cool. It's a similar situation, though, where it just feels like a shell of what it used to be. Meh. Like an empty UI shell. Goku was the hypest moment since... That was hype. Was that was hype, I will say. I think UI Goku, besides original Super Saiyan, is the most hype transformation. But that's like that's like almost all Super has going for it. But like, it's really cool. It is very cool. But that tournament arc also kind of sucked ass as a whole. There was just a lot of cool moments. Meh. It was very meh. Oh, well, that's true. First try again, let's also, go! Also, Kefla was awesome favorite character in the super that's true that's what i'm saying like that tournament tournament of power had a lot of cool moments but like it was uh it had a lot of stinkers in there too honestly it just wasn't paced very well i feel yeah. like they should have made the timer longer than 48 minutes <laughs> what you think it should have been longer that that package no i think that at least they should have said it was longer than 48 minutes oh i, I get what they were trying to the, the thing that really throws me off about that is that there's so much talking that throws it off. Like, I get yeah, that they're... Yeah, exactly. I get that they're trying to say that, oh, everything's happening so fast, right? Like, to me, that makes sense. That they, It's the same thing as the Frieza moment, right, when he said five minutes or whatever. It makes sense, you know? You're stealing it, come back, no! <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, I'm so trash, dude. Um... But yeah, no, there's there's so much interlogs from the characters that makes it just feel so, you know, so trash. Anyway, wait, no, but going back to the animes as, uh, as a whole, did anyone really watch Boruto's dad, though? You know, I as someone who loved Naruto, I did watch Boruto as, as it was go coming out for, like, the first 15 episodes. And I was trying my hardest. Sucked. I was trying my hardest to enjoy it because I loved Naruto. Um, but, like... It, I think one of the biggest issues with it is that it had even worse filler than Naruto did. <laughs> yeah, bro. I, dude, I was out of Boruto by episode three. Like, it was terrible. It was so trash. And, again, I was spoiled because I watched all of Naruto and Shippuden with a filler list up. So I avoided all the trash. Um, I didn't. My first watch, so I watched all of it. Was it bad? It was really bad. <laughs> I watched all of Naruto. Although, but it's like... Okay, see, original like, Naruto, Naruto filler Naruto wasn't that bad, though. Yeah, Shippuden filler was bad. Yet. Wait, I'm sorry, what'd you say, America? 
I literally, so I gave Boruto three episodes, couldn't get into it, but like Naruto pulled me in the very first episode. Yeah, Naruto had a really strong pull right right away. Oh my god, Wall of Silence. And the I'm fucking, fucking Zabuza arc. Oh Thank my you. god, it was so good. Yeah, yeah Naruto had a really good start. Fate. That's what I'm saying. Like, honestly, Naruto is just like, it's such a great story, but like the anime's filler like really bogs it down. Have you seen the filler list for Boruto? Yes, isn't it like eighty percent filler? They haven't had a canon episode in like two years. Jesus <laughs> Christ! But you know what? I do tune in whenever there is uh, canon episodes. I will say, put this. when there's canon episodes, I tune in, and you know, I still don't think it's as good as Naruto or Shippuden. But I do actually think the canon episodes are not bad. They're okay. <laughs> Bro, I'll, Abby, I'll if you know the exact order, Boruto please that, add guess. me. I'll give Boruto when that, but like when there's me. when there's less than half of the entire anime, Good night, Gamaf. that's canon. That's just so bad. You mean Grease? It's so bad. Sorry, Grease. I'll I'll stand to it though. The best Naruto fight in all in the entire series is Naruto and Sasuke versus Mama uh, <laughs> Mama Shiki. That crap is insanely good. <laughs> I still thought it was okay. I, I just think it was cool because, like, all right, Boruto. it felt like an old-school Naruto fight, but, like, with all like, of their insane it's powers. As, it's not as good as the goaded Naruto fight stuff. But they had callbacks to, 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 like, freaking Zabuza. That was cool, Boruto bro. doesn't have that much filler, actually. Yes, it does. You're lying. No, you're, <laughs> no, 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 no. There's anime canon. They're, they're trying to fool you. There's anime canon, and then there's manga canon, and oh. then there's yeah, yeah. There you go. <laughs> I, I see that now. I see that now. <laughs> there's anime so canon. Much. Abby, don't don't say that to me. Uh, I still want to see myself and said good night, so I have to go. No, Gamaf. Good morning, Gamaf. Good morning. Welcome to the stream. <laughs> but yeah, no, like if 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 you were going to make like a like an anime like like Seven Wonders of the World, even like Poke Abby, like I know you don't like Dragon Ball. Dragon Ball's going on there. I mean, we all know why. It's freaking Goku. Like Goku has transcended media. He's one of the most recognizable characters. Dude, Super Saiyan Blue was in the Macy's Day Thanksgiving Day Parade. It, yeah. It's not even about like the show itself. It's so. It's just iconic, you know? Um, oh, Abby, can you send me the game? I mean, what? I'm asking for a friend. Fun fact, <laughs> Fate started originally as a porn game. I think I heard that, yeah. Um, <laughs> what? I'm trying, to, I'm trying to get that link, hold on. I'm that friend. <laughs> No. <laughs> no, actually, uh, Bacon is that friend. She wants to know. <laughs> oh, I wanted to ask her something. Oh yeah, no, if, I know. I remember. Wait, what genres? I guess Mecha would have to be one. I I, I don't watch Mecha anime though. Does anybody Even watch? Though. Evangelion, yeah. most likely. Yeah. Either Evangelion. Evangelion or, I've never or watched. Those are like the only. I feel like. I feel like Sailor Moon should be there. Sailor Moon is a Sailor Moon is a well, it's both. Sailor Moon's Gundam and Not in Mecha, Girl. just like Sailor Moon was a pretty big deal though. It's like the most relevant Magical Girl uh, anime. Yeah, definitely. I wouldn't be against it being in there. Um, <laughs> Sailor I Moon seen it, is but... not Gundam. What the fuck? <laughs> Wait, no, sorry, I didn't say it right. It's Mecha. That's what I meant to say. It's Mecha. It is a, it's a Mecha anime. It technically is. Sailor Moon? Yeah. Yeah. How? No. How? I've never watched it, so I don't it Sailor Moon any sense. It's, it's, it's all about transforming magical girls and fighting Tuxedo Mask guy. Magical girl is not the same as Mecha. <laughs> Hold on. Well, well, it's both. Evangelion's Mecha. And some fucked up shit in Evangelion too. Tons of people die.
Yeah, there's not that many like good mecha animes. There's not. But mecha is such a big deal in in uh Oh, you know what should Japan, be in there? That it needs to be like there has to be a mecha anime representing anime like in there though. Cowboy Bebop should be in there. I don't know, man. I think Cowboy Bebop is like I feel I know a lot of people love Cowboy Bebop, but like I hated I, it. I feel like a lot of a lot I feel like it's getting more and more obscure as time goes on. I don't think Joel recently watched Cowboy Bebop, and that's like one of his favorite animes now. Really? I hated yeah. Cowboy Bebop it's when like I watched it. Obviously, after Dragon Ball Z, but like that. Code, and Code Gass, Gass is, is fucking Pog. loved. Code Gass is Pog. Code Gay Ass is Pog. I will say. Code Gay Ass, I love it. <laughs> Actually, I didn't really like it that much. It was okay. No, I didn't like it either. I haven't even seen it, so. Uh, you probably like it if you like Death Note. Um, the main character is like super smart. He fucking does some planning shit. It's pretty cool. It's technically Mecha. Yeah, but like, I feel like what I like about Attack on Titan is not the giant titans. I I care more about Attack on Titan's like political world and everything. That's stupid. The Titans are the cool part. The Titans uh, are big disagree. and scary. Hard disagree. True. I, don't even, I really don't even give a damn about the Titans. Not they really. make it cool because they're big and scary. The world building is what makes Attack on Titans so cool. I want to see big giant people fight, okay? I want to see big giant people fight and eat little people. Exactly. No, that is true, Abby. Nobody started watching Attack on Titan because of the politics. That is true. <laughs> but like, it up that way, yeah. Okay, no, I'm talking about, like, nobody cares about Titan powers, right? Like, fighting Titans is what? cool. <laughs> oh my god, Katana, shut up. <laughs> what? Fighting Titan- Okay, no, 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 no. Okay, no, when you first started watching Attack on Titan, you, know, you knew nothing about people turning into Titans, obviously. What? Yeah, but then we learned about it, it was like, oh, that's so far. It, awesome. it is cool, it is cool, but that's what I'm talking about! I'm talking about the first time you see it. God damn. Like, you no don't know anything about, about it. power, an idiot. <laughs> Yo, come back. <laughs> uh, no. Oh, fucking burn, bro. God, y'all don't listen to me, bro. Fuck. Roasted. Oh, fuck. Bro, from episode one, you see the colossal titan. Literally, episode You don't know that's a person, though! Our titan. <laughs> You think it's just a monster! You don't know it's a person yet! Yeah, but it's cool, because it's like, why is it so special? Mm-hmm. Like, no, like, no, when you first see that, you think that's the boss of them all. That's the big boy. But then it turns out it's just this freaking random guy. <laughs> that guy was one of the biggest plot twists ever. It was one of the most irrelevant it's characters. It's so stupid. It's the oh most irrelevant- God, like, Okay, so but it bad. was- Me and it... this guy are these people. Alright, let's go. What okay, I will say though, I think it's really cool that freaking uh, spoiler alert for Attack on Titan. Um, three, two, one. I think it's really cool that freaking they made Armin the colossal titan at the end of the day. I think that's fire to me. Because it's like, I feel like it that you couldn't have picked a more perfect person. Because like that titan is like, it's like a strategic titan, right? I just think that's sick. But like he's also like the most powerful titan. They didn't give it to Aaron. No, they gave it to freaking Armin. Yeah. That's wait, what? What? I wouldn't say Colossal is the most powerful. Well, okay. The Aaron's is the most technically powerful, but that's only if he absorbs a lot of other ones. Well, I like, mean he did. <laughs> well yeah, that yeah, I mean, yes. But that's like saying like the copy ability is the most OP ability ever. Like, not at base, you have to get all those copies. Um, but yeah, at, at base, absolutely the Colossal Titan's the most powerful. You transform, you burn an entire freaking city. Nah, uh, don't they say that the fucking Warhammer one's the most powerful? Maybe in, uh, Warhammer like, is good. maybe in, to, maybe in, uh, 1v1 combat, yeah, but, like, it, like, I'm talking pure power. Like, the moment you transform, it's a nuke. Really, Avi? It is actually a nuke the moment you transform. Oh, what the fuck? 
the episode one well, attack on titan strongest first episode in anime changed my mind the first episode of attack on titan is really strong yo the attack on titan map is just the world map flipped upside down what I don't know. Abby just said something, and then I was like, I, don't know, I went to look it up. Who cares when Aaron transforms? <clears throat> no one cares when they you know people are people. It was a, it was a really cool plot twist. I'm just saying, like when when people first started watch, watching Attack on Titan, nobody knew that, and that that was the point. Like that that was not the uh, the selling point of the anime was cool titan powers for people it was people fighting massive titans was the pull-in right why are we talking about this it, it i brought it up for some reason way back when i don't even remember colossal I got stupid. let's move on colossal is the most powerful i can get behind that i mean it is it absolutely oh is God. they say that many times paradise island and titan titans actually madagascar Compared to the other times physically, definitely. Huh. Africa, but flipped. It is. Alright, I think I gotta stop stream, though. That was fun, though. I gotta pick up that damn package. Alright. Uh, thanks for the fun combos. Next week... Uh, we're going to do a different game for Variety Wednesdays. We made a lot of progress today in Jump King, though. Eventually, we'll probably come back to this game for like a Monday or Thursday stream at some point. Um, and we'll beat it. Uh, I already know I can. I've already made it uh, plenty far. And I enjoy the game. Um, but the point of Variety Wednesdays is to try out a bunch of different games. It's not to beat every game. Ahem, Halo. So I'll see y'all next week. Thank you so much for watching. Later manners.